Can you get a water, Mr. Waiter? <clears throat> yeah. Here you go, bye. Thanks for selling. Seven. What up, Damien? Wait till you see Crane today, Mr. Mayor. Is he wearing his Walmart Russian fit? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, is that his Walmart Russian fit? I don't know, man. He had a freaking helmet. Meeting time. Hell yeah. I'm dealing with the charge.
As fan, thanks for selling. Snack attack. <laughs> no intelligent life detected. To be fair, he said he was going to be here. So. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hello. Happy Easter. Is it Easter Sunday? It is, but we're not meeting on Sunday. Well, Sunday Where? morning should celebrate after yeah. Sunday, so you know you're halfway there. You're almost there. Hell yeah, so close. So Where's close. Me phone. Congratulations on 10 meetings, by the way. Thanks. Wow, we have double wow. digits. Right. I'm saying it beforehand so you don't have to ask. Thank you, because I would not have known. Uh, who the <laughs> fuck is this? Where is Oh, Mayor? You coming, bro? Uh, I am just getting gas right now. Sick. Uh, just right. call me when you're outside. All Pass like that uh, Omega harsh business law you were talking about last week, or, or implement it rather, Max. Uh, I, I don't want the police to charge anyone with that until I have the, we have the means to give people an actual business license. But it did pass. Is it? Yeah, we're just not putting the, it. We're not putting it yet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, it should uh, be in city council documents, though. I think yeah, it was in there. It was proposed. Yeah, yeah. So you can read it. Let's get started. Welcome to the 10th council meeting of, of heck. <laughs> uh, any news? Any important news? Uh, I just have general updates. I am not presenting anything this week. Uh, for Civilian Oversight Board, I've managed to talk to three of the four people. I have uh, not been able to locate Sunny Brooks yet, but um, Ursula, who is filming coincidentally right now she's uh she's gonna help get the word out on uh complaints if anyone does does wish to do those but myself uh archie and owen we've, we've been telling people if they got uh you know civilian complaints against the pd how to how to action those uh, on the civil side if they don't want to go uh, internal with them okay um any 
uh, anyone else with general news? Question mark. Uh, I mean, we talked about most of the quota stuff with you and uh, Siobhan and Michael yesterday. I had a general question, and I don't know if anyone has experienced this, but I was told that uh, Grime drivers are going to Polito delivering everything and then leaving their trailer on the side of the road en masse. Yeah. Um, That's why we saw all of those there. Yep. Uh, I was going to propose a, an illegal dumping <laughs> thing today. I, I'm on board with that because... Can we, can we track the trailers? No, someone tried to see if you can get a plate read on it and for some reason when it's uh, detached you cannot do that. Um, that would make it a lot easier, I promise you. Well, they're 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 dumping them in the same spot, like that shoulder leading into Polito, right in front of the farm. So you just gotta sit sit there and then watch some dumb yeah. motherfucker do it. Okay, all because I mean, I... they want to speed down the highway faster without their fucking trailer. Yeah, I didn't put two and two together that the amount of uh, sixteen wheelers without the 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 trailer on it that I see going south on Popular towards the docks, but now it makes perfect sense. That... Sure. Are they just doing it to get better mileage on the freeway? Like, they want to get it? back faster. Oh, yep. Jesus. Yup. Yeah, I mean, I'm all, I'm all for doing yep. that pretty harshly. My wife and I went on a uh, a uh, grime ride along uh, probably about a week ago now. And that was the last part of our grime ride <laughs> was dumping the trailer. So you saw it in real time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Good to know. Okay. Um, uh, PD liaison Nakoda, do you have anything to present to the Council of Eight? I think the majority of it was us discussing the quota system yesterday, and then honestly, the big thing I had was that being told by people that uh, grime beds are being detached in random places, and if we could get a charge for that. But apparently, you're already well aware of it. Yeah. Go, please, Nakoda. Yeah. Oh, I, sorry. Sorry. I have someone uh, that's going to speak here. Come on. Howdy, uh, y'all. This is Momo. I met him at the sanitation yard uh, last night. Hi, Momo. Hi, Momo. Hello, everyone. Uh, we'll start with Momo. Fuck it. Uh, and then we can get to the uh, illegal dumping. Hello, Momo. How hey, are Momo. you guys today? Doing well. Right. You are being filmed, of course, because the uh, the council meetings are now uh, filmed live. So if there's anything, if you would like to not speak, uh, that can also be arranged. No, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I consent to the to the recording. Cool. Uh, what did what did you want to talk to about the council, or talk to the council about? I wanted to speak to the council of, about the wonderful DOC that they've uh, put into place. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was sarcasm coming from a criminal's point of view. It really, it's it's terrible for us. It's miserable. It's absolutely dreadful. We hate it. It's 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 the most scary thing in the world. We we really 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 do not like going to prison. I have Wait, completely you don't rethought like prison. I, I, I used to That's enjoy right, prison. Everybody. I used to enjoy prison. I, enjoy it prison? used to be a time. It used to be a time for me to think and ponder on my with myself. Like a meditative retreat. Exactly. <laughs> away from everybody. Away from all the all the crazies. But nope, now I can't do that anymore. Well, now like... now it's 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 try to escape at all costs or don't go to or don't do crime. I've resorted to not doing crime just because I am completely oh alone in the goodness. city. I know. Terrible. Council of eight. We might have solved crime, guys. Hey. <laughs> 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 Momo, can you talk about uh, like what goes down in Bolingbrook when uh, it's staff? Yeah. Let's <laughs> through yeah, what, what you, you wrote in your testimonial, which is in my chief of staff notes if anybody wants to pull it up. I haven't heard of many people who are actually in there, so yeah. Okay, well, so let's think about it this way, all right? <laughs> we all, we're all humans here. We all have free will. We all have something that we identify ourselves by, right? Which is our names. I oh. sound proudly behind my name. I feel like my name defines who I am. And it's, you know, it's a staple to, to who we all are. In there, that is gone. You are known and only known as Maggot. You lose all sense of dignity. 
you know, do not treat you as a human. They tell you how to think. They tell you what to do, how to act. They tell you when to breathe, what to wear. You know how miserable that is? <clears throat> I couldn't imagine. Dehumanizing. And then, <laughs> terrible. It, it, and then above all else, they torture you and beat you. <laughs> they stabbed me, left me to bleed, pushed me out of the prison. And EMS didn't even want to assist. Did they leave you in the parking lot? Yes. Are they're they... not oh, supposed there's to the do proof. that, are they? There you go. No, they're not meant to do that. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk to them about making yeah, sure yeah, yeah. you don't get treated. They should try to oh, treat you. Nope. <laughs> Stabbed, <laughs> leave, 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 out leave, and forced out. Leaving you in the parking lot for EMS to potentially respond yeah, to. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> no bueno. Uh, well, I'll talk yeah, to I've, you. I've gotten a couple complaints about... Uh, them just constantly dumping people in the parking lot and calling EMS. Yeah, it's happened quite a bit. I know this was two weeks ago, but did did uh, did EMS agree to basically like not treat them unless they're out, out on the highway or, or some shit? Like, what was the, uh, the response? I, response fooled. that I got because I was still I made my own nine one one call. It was we are not allowed to respond to the prison. Right, that's that's yeah, why I'm asking. Go, I guess yeah, I told well, them. Yeah, uh, where, where, I told where, them what, what we is, talked about. The, the, the boundary line now, I guess, just for like my knowledge. I don't is... think there is necessarily a boundary line, um, okay. but I, I uh, express if they bleed that out, if they think they are at risk. They Bobby not Carmine have can't help them, by the way. Yeah, I know. Really, hey, that's that's on I mean, fair, fair enough. We should probably get them some tourniquets. Like, line of sight on them, basically. Uh, I have I have heard that their medical facilities cannot treat. Uh, bleeding wounds, <laughs> yes. which is a huge problem. So maybe oh. uh, I, I know we said we wouldn't help them, but giving them some tourniquets might not be untoward. We are uh, so uh, that's that's a tough one. Um, discussions that I've had. You I met again that you're a loser. I've heard that in character. A viable option. You did remind are, me. Um, very, um, very good medical equipment. They're they're. Uh, very sought after, highly sought after, um, putting them in a place where they could be so easily uh, taken, essentially, because uh, I guess Carmine and Bobby aren't the biggest threats they could be given for it, is a, is a major concern. Essentially, uh, unfortunately, I know it's not uh, a happy answer, uh, but it is um, either they have to get treatment from the hospital, they are someone who can travel there, or uh, they have to try to not get injured uh, because they, the local doctors can't help them until they're incapacitated. Okay. We're just going to get some from a them cop the and then give them something. That they need for medical treatment, it's only going to uh, push them further to treat us more like shit and dehumanize us. Are, uh, you, are you saying? This is, I was in the prison a couple of days ago. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to get less human than that, Momo. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just don't even think we should be pushing the envelope with any kind yeah. of equipment. I, I, yes. I, yeah. I, watched, I watched someone in Bolingbrook, a.k.a. Dogtown, cut off some guy's arms. Oh, my God. And then attach them to his body. <laughs> huh. That's terrifying. Okay. Not Daijobu. Well, I mean, not Daijobu if it were on the streets. In Bolingbrook, it's perfectly fine. Of course, of course. Um, I am personally for them having at least a small stock of tourniquets, just so that the, there aren't any like, like I, <laughs> I when I went to prison, there was a cop up front, and um, they tried to like I was going in there to inspect the place. And there was a cop out front talking to them through the gate near the DMZ. Uh, and then they opened it to let me in with my wife. And uh, they tried to, like, smoothly, like, usher the cop in as well. And we're like, all right, all right, come on, guys. Come on, everyone. And, like, come through the gate. And they tried to, like, trick her into coming inside so they could fucking take her shit. Um, That's crazy. <clears throat> my point is... <laughs> um. If they have, you know, like maybe like five, six, seven tourniquets a day, um, it will potentially prevent EMS from being, you know, 
maybe just straight up <laughs> grabbed from the parking lot if they decide to go there. Or grabbed from anywhere else and robbed or, you know, attacked for their supplies. So the concern we run into is the medical supplies are very carefully tracked and assigned to individuals. Um, we buy them from Marcus. Uh, he, he stamps our state ID on them so that we can very carefully track them to make sure if they're robbed or given out, uh, we know who they're Sir, from. They're very regulated in that regard. Um, there's also the issue of uh, they don't have medical training. They could potentially cause more issues if they're applying to tourniquets to people without a level of knowledge there. Uh, not to mention, because they're not medically trained, they they might struggle to apply them to people, so they might just have to let someone try to apply a tourniquet to themselves, which is extremely dangerous. Um, there, there's a lot of reasons why, one, having them out and about is a major risk, and two, I just, it, it could also cause more problems. Okay. And given the fact that they've already been pushing the boundaries and Alan has had to have multiple conversations with them, I don't really feel like they have shown the level of competency or trust that uh, having, you know, that kind of equipment, you know. Yeah, I just I just hope these guys don't wise up, go mm -hmm. on YouTube and look up how to make a tourniquet. <laughs> They could. Um, <laughs> that's I mean, I think they want to order worries. some off Wish.com or something. But, uh, but we, our, our specialized stuff, I just wouldn't feel comfortable giving to them. Just wait till they learn you can make napalm at home. Oh yeah. My. Oh yeah. My God. <laughs> okay. Momo, any uh, final notes on uh, your experience at Bolingbrook? Yeah, the conversation that I was trying to have was very, it went south. Uh, I, I thought you guys, you know, were going to be sentimental or. <laughs> try to advocate for the people who are being sent up there but apparently that's exactly what you guys were going for so if that's what you guys are going for and it's <laughs> obviously uh, decreased the crime rate then i am very happy for you guys well you said it yourself thank you yeah, thank you yeah i'm gonna go cry prison's not um, supposed to be fun it's okay just don't go to prison again congratulations on your here, new clean here, life sir. <laughs> no, ever want a job okay. as a doctor or something let us know i i can't I can't. I can't get that job. Get expunged, expunged, man. That's expensive. Look. Do you get your squad together? <laughs> oh, listen. I've already been thinking about this. Are they up there right now? Do you know if they're there right now? They are 100% up there right now. <laughs> mm, okay. Interesting. All right. Go take them out. <laughs> right. Will do. All right. Love you, Momo. I'm sorry that did not go the way you thought. Uh, it would. Good. I appreciate and respect you, Mayor. Thank you very much for having me come speak. Yeah, of course. If you've got, if you ever have any other like super pressing concerns or whatever, just call me and uh, we can talk about it. All right, sounds good. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna go take care of some alleged business. <laughs> Is Momo going after the DOC? <laughs> <laughs> okay uh enlightening <laughs> uh malton doesn't have anything nakota doesn't have anything uh canter you got anything you want to present to the council of eight uh there is the uh drug schedule on me and siobhan worked on if you're, if you're ready with that uh siobhan we could go for it yeah okay. um, i just also want to give like full clarity that this was adopted from something that norman adams had sent me ew it, it was good stuff. I mean, I, I adopted it. I, I pretty much paraphrased almost everything and removed a lot. And then Cantor and I worked together on a bunch of stuff as well to update it and change it. But just one in full transparency. Yeah, uh, Norman brought it to me as well, um, which is how I initially pitched it in the first place. Um, so I, I'll be, you know, I didn't know much about scheduling drugs and how it works outside of here. But looking into it, I think it's a good idea. So we've ironed it out. Um, We've made a couple changes from his initial pitch. Um, my pitch was three schedules instead of two, with the idea that schedule one being the harshest level of drugs would only be felony possession. Essentially, how, like heroin is right now, any amount is, is a felony. Schedule one would be bad enough that any amount is felony, so it shouldn't even make things too, too much harder. In fact, it would make things technically easier that anything in that schedule one would only be one single charge. And then the uh, actual drugs and which section they're in can be changed. That could be like, you know, pitched to the council by whoever is medical liaison at the time. 
um, to, hey, you know, I don't think this is as harmful as we once thought. We could change this category, things like that. Uh, but yeah, y'all read over it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's see. We also touched briefly on legal pharmaceuticals. Um, that's uh, somewhat related to things like a Nexus back in the day, Michael. Um, I essentially put something uh, that LSMG oversees that so that y'all don't run into cops trying to arrest you for transporting drugs again. <laughs> uh, we can like put our stamp of approval on it and then they can get fucked. The juice. The fuck is the juice? Uh, uh, a drug back yeah. in the day that uh, it was a giant shot of uh, adrenaline made from human kidneys uh, that would restart your heart but could cause severe injuries down the line like it uh, could cause heart attacks. Uh, can we can we just take this time just to get rid of all the, the drugs that aren't on the street currently? I mean, I... I this is I'd be like, down for that, yeah. This is my opinion, but I, I don't like future-proofing drugs into schedules. Like, I, I think if you have a, a catch-all on Class 3 for, like, <laughs> a generic drug, that'll give police something to charge in the future and then from their investigation and Agreed. their pitch mm -hmm. to the council or to the digital yeah, and then it, it could be added as a specific schedule and the medical liaison time can take it to the hospital to do some uh you know he studies proper right? checks on it yeah Research. so uh in doing this um when we uh if this is approved and we make this change and the charges for possession are removed we could uh get rid of all the ones that we haven't seen around uh, and only assign the ones I went ahead and removed so all the So this is a good ones. way to clear it up. Perfect. Okay. The warden, yeah. The warden's here to file a, a complaint against the police. I feel so okay. like. Come on in, Baron. What, what's up with the fucking condom I, uh, app? I have to protect <laughs> my identity. Schedule three, just generic drug. Just, yeah, uh, sure. That would yeah, that, mm. be the catch all. Anything the police want to feel is articulate. Oh, uh, okay. lovely to see you, Bobby. Can, yeah, that, that's fair. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna finish talking about this uh, scheduling first, yeah. uh, Baron, and then we can uh, hear your complaint. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sounds good. All right, um, we had uh, marijuana schedule three for I think obvious reasons, but you know the <laughs> cultivation, the uh, felony intent to distribute, all that will still apply as is. If someone's fucking around to that level, you know those are still the same. Just, this is only for possession. Um, and then yeah, as we go through and figure out what is actually applicable, uh, if this is approved we can decide which schedule to throw them in. Um, so uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's felony and misdemeanor possession of schedule two and three, uh, and then felony possession only of schedule one. I also have a spreadsheet created with all of the times, fines, and felony and misdemeanor amounts of each drug. Look at your mouse so as a cat trying approved, to catch can, it. You know, plug that in pretty quickly and easily Ooh. and figure out what times and fines we want to land on. What's with what the language here about oxy and weed being for medical? Uh, that is the intention behind the lower scheduling, is that they uh, have potential medical use, which is why they are a lower schedule. It's not that it is legal if it has medical use. It is it is a lower charge because of that fact. So doctors are going to try to prescribe marijuana? No, that's not what this is. Uh, schedule 3 is just a lower time of fine. Um, there is still no legal amount of any of these drugs. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not doing that. I, I that mean, would be a whole other page. There's would, the would grown. Would be more comfortable from a judicial standpoint, Crane, if it was just based off of the public health risk and there was no mention Opinion of... Opinion change. No mention that. About to withdraw. Yeah. Yeah. Just lesser public about health risk. About to withdraw. Yeah. I, I, still, I still don't... I still don't agree with the thing overall. I think it causes issues with tracking drugs in terms of charges and reports. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just Here I don't it comes. think it's the right way to go. I have no problem with if you guys want to remove or you think it's a good idea to remove the drugs that we don't see around the streets anymore, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that the there's an overwhelming benefit to creating the classes that overrides the inconvenience and confusion it would cause when it comes to tracking, you know, drugs at a glance. Are you thinking something I'm, like when you're trying to find three incidences of felony possession yeah, to distribute for drug trafficking? Way, Is that what like, you're thinking of? 
Yeah, because if you if you want like mm-hmm. felony possession of marijuana to bolster your two instances of sale of drugs, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, I can't hear you, just, dog. What would you do? Just search for <laughs> class three <laughs> possession, then you'd have to open up each report Thanks. and find out which Thank ones you. are weed. Search the marijuana tag. Yeah, and hope I mean, that yeah, the, uh, there's the, there the can German be tags has everything drugs. programmed correctly. Yeah. Uh, uh, PD could also put yeah. tags in reports for right. class mm-hmm. one, two, or uh, schedule one, two, and three. To so like scotch, uh, I'm not really drinking Or even a uh, tag for the specific drug if needed. Yeah, tag for the specific uh, drug. We could yeah. do so there's both, not too actually, because then you can just yeah. tag them simultaneously, and they should, mm-hmm. in, in execution, come right up for the report. Well, and Bob, then if, there, if any possession and other charges uh, to do with, like, weight, for example... Um, have been charged against a person, you can search for the weed tag, and you'll see the entirety of the weed-related crimes, no matter whether they're a specific possession charge or not. LSMG is also the established uh, is also established as the imparted to designate author- authorized personnel to assist with transportation production of prescription drugs. Bobby, what did you just do? What? You, you say that this isn't legalizing anything, mm-hmm. but it also says this establishes the Los Santos Medical Group as the authority on any pharmaceutical medications that will be legal to possess with a valid prescription. Yes, like back in the day, we had uh, antidepressants and things through Nexus. It's it's for things like that, not uh, anything. Um, we can reward that, too, if you want. My thoughts mm. are any drug uh, is brought to the council. How necessary is um, any of this? So Debatable, can, but this is a role play. So, like, say, uh, you, you know, a drug that should be, you know. And she is role playing a uh, A pharmaceutical liaison. company pops up. They're coming through. Um, they're coming through the hospital. The medical liaison can bring it here and say, uh, look, like, uh, th- this is not something that has to be scheduled. This is not something illegal. Like, are you There's always a new dead guy in the But uh, I'm assuming it would have to go through a business approval anyway, so I mean. It's safeguarding for those, because uh, that happened in the past. We ran into things like uh, Beta Life. Yeah. Had no Sam Skibbity. In any way. They just randomly had drugs that were illegal. Doofy Boofy. Skibadeen, skibadeen. <laughs> Bro, I'm not saying shit about that. I don't care about this. If this does go through, I, I still think there should be a, a felony possession even for a uh, schedule... Three? Wait, is that the there is felony possession of there is still three? yeah yeah, yeah. Wait, what's what's the oh there's only not a misdemeanor okay yes there's not a fine. misdemeanor for fa- for schedule one is my thoughts it would be okay, like yeah, heroin that's... where any yeah, yeah, amount yeah. any amount yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, uh, it's good let me change this word in a little bit to add the uh which will be approved by the council through the medical liaison Ooh. part so that it I thought the other part counter I might have accidentally deleted something when I was okay. trying to get the table that you sent me in here and it was just mm-hmm. not. Oh, it was yeah, not cooperating. Those tables it was not, not cooperating. I can, yeah, they do not. If not. it gets approved, I'll just write it all out. That's okay. You're an angel. I'll also <laughs> help if you need it. Hell yeah, thank you. Uh, let, like me, let me cook. Cokehead. Kiryu. Nice puppy. So are you guys are you guys wanting to call this to a vote or <laughs> uh she's be working on language if anyone has yeah let me let me finish it up. all right it's a pretty badass photo <laughs> okay Mm-mm-mm-mm. now it establishes the City Council is the authority on that as well as an extra safeguard because I can see a concern there. Oh, 
Um, are there any other questions on it uh, to iron out before we go to a lot? Uh, uh, I mean, I, you know, I have the same positions, but I think I'm overruled, so it is what it is. We should vote. I'll, I mean, I, I think I vote yes. I, I put in a lot of effort to it. Anyone else? Uh, anyone name? Nay other than uh, Craig? Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just rereading the uh, final form. Yeah. And if you're not happy with that word, and let me know. I think that uh, I think that sums up the solution. But uh, I'm happy to adjust. Abstain or, abstain or vote yay and win favor? Um, I mean, I, I just... I, I, uh, there are people in this room that I will think, never I favor Vax. You're <laughs> essentially taking one factor that's used in legislating punishments for drugs and making it the factor. So, like, for mean? example, uh, marijuana is a Schedule Three drug. Yeah. So it'll have the least uh, times for possession. Right. But it also is probably the biggest money-making drug. So in, if we're trying to deter the ultimate purchase and retention and possession of it, it we're not really deterring it because it's going to be a Schedule 3. So it'll be, you know, the lowest, you know, punishments for drug possession. We could also have it at Schedule 2 currently if there's a concern that it is a major issue. But, but that's uh, what I mean is like, so the, the scheduling says that the way that we're doing this is health and safety risk. So it says it mm -hmm. establishes based on high public health, no known benefits, incidences of abuse. Yeah. But there's no consideration in there that talks about deterrent needs, impact on society in terms of violence associated with the drug. Mm -hmm. and like I said, these are all factors like when we create charges for new drugs, we take, you know, the medical professional field, we take, you know, law enforcement, we take, you know, financial things into effect. Right. And it seems like we're ignoring the other elements and just replacing that with the healthcare perspective being the perspective. We can uh, we can expand on it. I'm completely okay with that. Uh, it just as outlined, um, it was set as public health risk. Uh, if you want it to, um, if you want it to be expanded to take in numerous factors, um, we can uh, we can word it very specifically uh, that it is brought to the council both legal and illegal drugs. After the makes you look uh, divided. That's after the plan. all the checks through the hospital, uh, and then that is determined based on a wider factor with things like the PD liaison with um, with the head of bar and everything. So it's not just the health risk; it's also the you know, public safety, all the what the cops actually say. It c it can be based on wider factors. We can we can expand on that absolutely. PD liaison, more like PD. At least my nuts ain't in your mouth. <laughs> that was a good one. And it doesn't negate the other charges, right? Like I stated, um, it doesn't negate cultivation of marijuana. It doesn't negate felony possession with intent to distribute. Um, it doesn't negate any of that. This is just... Just possession. You fucking said it again, dude. Get it, Ursula. It, that, that was a good one. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I do understand this, you know, this is your field on this, so I, I absolutely respect your opinion on it. Um, I do think this is a good idea, Um, but any any feedback you have, uh, you know, it's helpful. Uh, 
Dakota, one of my concerns when this was discussed two weeks ago was uh, bozo cops and, and processing. Do, do you mm. think that under the way it's worded, cops can still process, charge, investigate, blah, blah, blah? You think they, they can all With still do that exult? effectively, shall we say? Uh, I think if it's simplified under these three schedules, that shouldn't be an issue. Um... I think to maybe what the Chief Justice was saying is like right now the only problem, it's not even a problem, it's just the amount of drugs that are out or the differing types of drugs that are in circulation right now are very minute. Um, like the main thing we find people with right now is marijuana and mm -hmm. I guess moonshine to a certain extent, but that's obviously different, right? Right. Um, but like I said, I, I personally don't think any officers would have issue with this, but uh, I don't have the perspective of the DOJ from a, you know, a higher up uh, standpoint. So I'm open to other people's perspectives. I mean, it, it gives us the opportunity, right, to, to clean up all these charges, because you're not wrong. A lot of this just... <laughs> isn't seen uh, at all right now. There's a there's a lot of things that might not be relevant at all currently in the penal code. So starting this feels like starting off on the right foot to me, but I am also uh, just a, a doctor. I have probably the least horse in this race out of some of the people. Well, they need your tiebreaker. Uh, so, you know, I do appreciate the opinion. Nothing bad happens even if it does get passed. Or doesn't. You might want to tell Michael your plan. Excellent plan, Prime Club. Yeah. Anyone else have anything else? That's a good. Oh, did you finish that's, that a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good plan. Prime uh, Club. I added the part where uh, it states the cancel approval. Legal uh, medications require cancel approval. I might just give me your Prime sub. Work on. I'm already two steps ahead of you, dog. The whole thing, I kind of have to go and put <laughs> everything under cancel <laughs> approval instead of that specific part. To prime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's already fixed up. So, thanks. Nice. Looks like it's there. Looks like you got yeah. it. Yeah. It's the online K's games. Like, what's up? <laughs> Sheriff's office? Question mark exclamation point times 20. What about it? Okay. Perfect. So, it stays in any place. Do you want to put this to a vote now? Uh, yeah. Um, we'll have to vote on where drugs go either way. Keep in mind. So this is just the base framework of the scheduling. So wait, whenever there's a new drug, you're saying the city council votes to classify it? Yes. I'm saying, uh, well, the way I have it in there is by default, it's classified as a three because... Yeah, mm -hmm. it's already in there, but them. we can bump it up. We can adjust it. Yeah, but if you want to specifically name it in there with, you know, then that's what the council would kick in. Mm -hmm. We'd have to figure out what amount is felony and misdemeanor stuff anyway to get it in there. Hey, I gotta read so I just have a clarifying question. When it says lower incident of abuse, does that mean like less instances of people being found with it? Less addictive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Less it's addictive. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't abuse it. Yeah. It's not less amount of being found with, and we can we can change uh, like Crane was asking for. We can change the uh, descriptors. Th that was just kind of a quick summary of what we yeah. looked for, but we can change what we are looking for if uh, you know, depending on like what we want to see. Essentially, we can do that now or in the future. What yeah, if? So I don't. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. What yeah. if every time a new drug's found on the street? We bring it here on Saturdays, and then we all take some. We do it all? Hell it yeah. <laughs> that would be an ideal case study. <clears throat> I've been sober for four years, and that ain't changed. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, except for that. Everyone I except too, for free. That's because no one will sell me cocaine. <laughs> this is fucked up. I, uh, I only drink, unfortunately. I'm not a drug guy. Okay, so... All the cool people in this room will do the drugs, and you guys can trip sit us. Yeah, yeah let's say we need yeah. babysitters. We need trip sitters. Yeah. It's an important job. It won't be illegal yet if we haven't shit wait under Malta's plane, it will be. Still be, yeah. Okay, well. So oh, I, it's I, fine. We'll cook on it. I think the uh, my only initial thing here is, and uh, it's like, if we're going to take into account. Most valuable uh, dog. How often summit? people are caught with a certain drug as to as far mm -hmm. as the scheduling. Like right now, yeah. if that was taken into account, marijuana would be schedule one because yeah. it is the drug that we catch people with by far the most. So, because mm -hmm. public health yeah. risk is vague. Uh, if you think that that is a current significant public health risk, um, you know that that is something to keep in mind, right? It's one of those things that we uh, we can use for uh, numerous regards. I, I don't think weed should be Schedule 1. Admittedly, I think uh, I think it's weed. It's pretty pretty chill. But that's a personal thing. Uh, you could absolutely make that argument, is what I'm saying. It's not just public health risk of, like, you smoke one joint and it'll kill you, you know? It's like, um, if people are fucking, like, shooting each other over weed or, uh, or you know, it's causing, like, gangs or something, that, that's still, like, public health risk to me. I think that's what I meant. Like, if people are willing to yeah. flee from a, a incident or a traffic stop or something like that because they have weed on them and then they <laughs> run somebody over. Or, I know that's not necessarily, like, in the, right. in the spirit of health risk, right? You're talking about the effect no, the drug has it, on the person. It but. can be, honestly. It can't. It doesn't have to just be the effect of her, that it has on a person. Uh, we can take into account the entire picture of how it affects um, the city when we're making those determinations and adjust it as needed, right? Even if we did say, like you said, make it schedule one currently, um, if it, you know, down the line doesn't need to be, we can adjust that. Yeah, my glasses look hella cool in the light. Yeah, I think as long as the language is uh, clear about uh, public health risk, uh, along with how often the PD are, are catching said drug. Yeah, um, if you could think of a, if anyone can think of a better wording, let me know. My kind of thoughts with public health has encompassed all of that, but if if we want to make it more specific, we can absolutely do that. You saw Kay wear an eye patch when you were at Criminal Academia? Vasectomy. Does that work? Oh, let's add it on the addiction with incident abuse to try to just delineate them. Um, so he's also concerned for like the the public, right? Uh, I think is what <laughs> there's um, a vasectomy. He's even. looking for some oh, like the public risk. <laughs> yeah, like um, like people shooting each other over it, or getting into like gang wars, or uh, you know, <laughs> driving well high or something like like the uh external factors it could cause. I yeah. think is what he been there for to, a while. Like, uh, yeah, I haven't. I haven't really like said it though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, what is that, uh, picture? Bring that picture back? Uh, I think, like, uh, I mean, I'm not opposed to this <laughs> as long as it's, I mean, it, it seems like this will be a living, uh, always adapting document. Yes, it, it, this is very much, uh, if it's voted in, yeah, I'd, uh, uh, it would change constantly. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I think there's some issues with this, uh. Pray tell. I don't think uh, that uh, I don't think that uh, the council should be voting democratically on uh, the harshness of a drug for the purposes of time and fine because I mean burn assets for something you know uh, I think you guys are acting in good faith but someone acting in bad faith could very easily uh, I don't know 
So my my thoughts were the time and fines for each schedule are set by the DOJ. We don't touch that. The most but we only can do jaywalking is to do something. So it could never be that abused. Like no one can say the fine for marijuana is one dollar because well, yeah, that's I mean, not our thing to say. Yeah, uh, you we can, can put, decide. You know, heroin in Schedule Three. We could, yeah. Uh, but then the DOJ could look accordingly and up the fine if y'all felt you had to. Yeah, but then I do that for every Schedule Three drug. It, it's true, yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's unlikely that a whole council would vote for heroin to be yeah. Schedule Three. Um, but you know, th that's the checks I'm thinking, right? We we don't vote on the time and fine for it. We only vote on the schedule. Yeah, it's completely up to y'all where the time and fine is set and if that needs adjusting. And uh, I'm assuming, or well, not assuming, but this is uh, in conjunction with the fact that the Isn't this doctors the kind of legislation in the hospital that everyone was afraid you would do to get more yes uh, what do you mean? ready results to, to give, and like, a better understanding yeah. of it. Yeah, to give some actual like feedback that that'll be a uh, responsibility of the medical liaison to bring here uh, to give like actual feedback on the medical effects of the drug. Abusable kind yeah, of I mean, shit. Can't that part exist without the other part? Oh, uh, which part are you concerned about? I'm saying I, I'm trying. I'm trying to weigh what <laughs> yeah, I view I as you. like complications with the legislation, or you know, uh, things to deal with versus right. what like the benefit gained, right? So what I'm saying is, is the stuff about to be the fair, we haven't actually had on uh, reviewing drugs and testing them and providing because data of potential and future that. abuse. That already happens and can't happen with or without legislation. But they tried to yeah. reject it based on that. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, so here's my thoughts. It, it can happen now. You're not wrong. But a lot of these drugs, as have been mentioned, aren't around, uh, and there's already pre-established times and fines that uh, just have just kind of been sitting there for a while. I, I made a whole spreadsheet with all the times fines. They're well, yeah, pretty the whole similar thing's across the board. Anyone got the yeah, man, dude? Um, it, it's just a chance to reinvigorate it and restart it under uh, whatever we actually find. Dominion uh, asking. Kind of, you know, go through the whole process here and what we find instead of just what we've always had, I guess. Thank you, Verbal. Yeah, I deferred all y'all. Uh, I think I heard enough. <laughs> uh, who are the yays? Raise your hand, please. For yays? Oh. Raise your That's hand if you are a yay. You're not gonna. Raise your hand if you are a nay. I'm a nay. Uh, six to two. This passes. I'm sorry. Uh, if we get to a point where the implementation great becomes, acting, you know, I was afraid that the votes were going to be. I should have gone yeah, from exactly. Me. We can always, yeah, we can always uh, revoke, amend whatever we need to do. Yes, this, this is very Oscar much worthy to be living yeah. and breathing. I mean, I didn't. The council touches really at the very frequently. least. We didn't I just think, throw uh, by nice hamming it up. We just voted not in unison. Just, uh, not the same old. So uh, hopefully it works out. I, I like it. Which means if it has passed, we should probably vote on where we're putting weed as a schedule initially. Well, what are so we're literally just gonna publish what an empty schedule with just marijuana? We don't have to publish it yet. You know, there's some things that pass but need discussion, right? We've had uh, a few of those, but we can, you know, plan it right now for when we're ready to. Well, no, I'm just asking because you're saying you want to get rid of everything that's not seen right now. So the only thing seen right now is marijuana, so. <laughs> Uh, Are we just I, making a schedule and it's going to have one drug in it? Like I said, it doesn't have to be published right now. We could give it, uh, you know, give it a tiny bit of time. Uh, like, like, Seen this piece, art yet? Figure yeah. Out what, uh, it's on the smug board. Do with this. But, um, 
it's how do y'all feel about it M my pitch wasn't get rid of all of the old ones well it was get rid of all the old charges but it was schedule a couple initially but then they could be moved around yeah i thought we were getting rid of all the old stuff let's get rid of all the old charges but we can schedule some that are you know well expected and known and stuff you know some like just throw like hair the, the more on designer ones like mm -hmm. metamorphine and the juice and yeah those yes those should all be gone that was my thoughts um was throw the basic very uh you know the, the drugs everyone knows everyone knows cocaine. Yeah, why don't why don't everyone we just why don't we wait for the hospital to tell us about all the drugs okay sounds good Or we can also schedule it with just one. I mean, we can also nah, publish it. I wouldn't feel know, comfortable but... without the research being done. On weed? Okay, sure. No, all of them, you know. Ooh. I was pitching only the, the uh, posted with the one there, but uh, yeah, we can do the research. <laughs> so we, so we are doing the, the weed and nothing else, or what? which one? I was trying to find out what you were comfortable with. Um, I don't do see how either. we could schedule anything other than marijuana right now. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's yeah. So, do you want to wait? It's like saying I'm going to write my schedule for next month, and you yeah. just write masturbate every day. Yeah, I, <laughs> like, that, it ain't really uh, scheduled, is it? That is not what I'm saying. I am asking. Do you I'm want so to glad wait they're fighting with each other. <laughs> or do we want to post it with only one? That is uh. I'm I'm fine with give it a bit of time while we figure out where we want marijuana to land. Uh, give it a week I'm or two and uh, maybe the revisit the next meeting on that, uh, and then go from there. At the old people place. What do you six think? I think that uh, maybe, maybe the hospital can officially run some tests on marijuana and and less. <laughs> Unless the hospital has already done that information, <laughs> it would be nice to know. Yeah, I can come up with something. For that. I got you. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do that. I might have to work with you, Nakota, on that as well. So yep, I absolutely. No, I, yes, person. I figured. Yep, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just to get you started from a good place, you should watch a movie called Reefer Madness. Guy got, got a good info in there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Heard that hey, scared you know. a lot of Wasn't that a horror movie? Great. It was not nah, a documentary. Yeah. Documentary. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? <laughs> nice. you need to do your own research. You know, your <laughs> mainstream media over there. Okay, uh, oh, Philippa. Yeah. Okay. Philippa, anything other to anything else to present? Uh no, it was just that. I've uh, had more discussion about the violent charge idea, but I still don't feel comfortable putting yeah, it. Yeah, we're to, still putting it to paper. And if I don't, if I don't have something concrete there, I was that one? It, so. Yeah, what is that one? Uh, we talked about it last time, the idea for uh, a charge for violent acts committed on government property. Uh, essentially, it, uh, like it would be a deterrent, but not something nearly as heavy as like medical terrorism or uh, medical discontinuity. It's not intended to be numerous days in prison. It would probably just be a slightly higher fine to say, hey, don't fuck around here. Uh, but, you know, lives aren't ruined over it type thing. Well, I mean... So this is primarily, uh, you're probably worried about the hospital, right? Yeah, but, you know, yeah. also City Hall and, you know, people fucking around too much in MRPD can cause them issues too, you know? Um, so, I mean, not that this is always the case, but... Wait, I'm for it if we put reckless and violent. Okay, fuck yeah. Because there are these people, like, you should have seen some people, they got no fucking... Civil decency. Oh, or... like uh, how done they drove a club raised, through no, the you know, yard. Like raised or right, you know. It's mm -hmm. like yeah. they just, oh, uh, you know, you guys know how it is. You, there's always that one person, you know, where they zero class, right? Just absolute bottom barrel trash. They'll do anything. You know, like fucking mm -hmm. drive a motorcycle in like a government building. I mean, it's, uh. these people are just <laughs> unredeemable. I mean, we gotta do okay. something about it. I didn't say it. Um, yeah, I, know. I caught that Burt guy <laughs> driving a club into the the lobby a couple of times. As well. Yeah, no, Dundee has driven a club in through the car too, uh, mm -hmm. uh, through the hospital too. It's uh, that that's crazy. <laughs> that one's really weird. Yeah, that's uh. Wait, 
I drive my motorcycle in City Hall. Yeah. Wait, what? Ellen? What? Wait. Ellen, what are you referring to? <laughs> Ellen? I said what I said. Uh, okay. No more from Philippa. Uh, Alan, do you have anything you'd like to make known at the the council table and or present? Uh, yeah, uh, we we got to stop liking big numbers. OK, go on. Like we every charge we keep voting in is like 10 grand. And it, it's getting kind of absurd for me to like balance how think, for mm. example, right now, uh, stealing a uh, a turbo is actually equal to blowing shit up with explosives. Okay. Uh, and so there's two options. Either one, uh, we stop going for big numbers, or two, uh, everything gets big numbers, which I don't think is feasible. So either way, I still need to do like a holistic overhaul on the penal code because just some shit just doesn't make sense in terms of scaling. It's getting absurd. Trying yeah. To um, I'm just, I'm just offering like caution in general when we're legislating things that we don't, uh, you know, get right. into this trend of thinking we're hitting this problem real hard with a big fine. And then all of a sudden the entire penal code is just big fines for what people are doing right hey, now. Penal um, <laughs> That's fair. Okay. So uh, are you going to go through and uh, rebalance? Yeah. I, I have to basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a spreadsheet. I'm going to uh, qualify each crime with like a, a severity, right? How much impact it has on society and all that. And then I'm also going to scale like proportionally each fine and then cross-reference them against the severity. And it should give me an idea where the outliers are. Um, you told me you would help I'm them? Try to yeah, I told him I'd help them, uh, you know, 10 plus times. He just doesn't want <laughs> My but I just, in general, you know, I'm just offering caution to this because, you know, I'm Talk just. Talk brisket. Thanks for something. I'm looking at like the stuff that we've put in versus Should the I stuff prime? that was there before, yeah. and everything we've put in are, are gigantic outliers. Well, to be fair, there, think... there, there was a lot of stuff in the penal code before the Council of Eight started working uh, that was overlooked or like left in because not enough oversight was paid to uh, transitioning the penal code from you know before and now like it, it was outdated in some respects which was there were there were charges that just didn't apply like the the stolen goods one for example like the the valuable goods shit <clears throat> right um you you were okay this this is another discussion but <laughs> i've removed and re-added that charge three times now so uh, i was not doing it a fourth time I and think, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm just saying that the penal code does need uh, once over. That's all I'm trying yeah. to say. Yeah, and I mean, with the, the implementation of a lot of the charges that we've been <laughs> putting is because there's been a, a quote-unquote epidemic of said crimes, and we were doing it as a, a, a huge deterrent. And just like we have, you know, we've been lowering <laughs> the fines, you know, as it became less and less of an issue. Do you have and, a local thing Specifically with the turbo, we discussed it uh, to be equate to the value of said equipment because you know they would easily tank a yeah, charge we don't, we don't do that for any other uh never mind gotcha no no, no. I, I i understand what you're saying i understand where uh, that's what i'm trying to say is we're if, if you if you did that every single situation would be twenty thousand dollar situation and so that's untenable. So it, all I'm saying is, uh, I may have to make some changes to shit, uh, and it is what it is. Thank you. That's no, my understand. my stuff for the week. So along that same vein, briefly in the last meeting, I think it was, um, has there been any more discussions about people that are going uh, grossly into the uh, negatives? Uh, yeah, but uh, I can't talk about it yet. Okay. Uh, it will be addressed, uh, but I can't say when or how. So stay tuned. Madam Treasurer, do you have anything you'd like to present to the council? 
I do not. Uh, I recently had a career change this week, and it has um, messed up my MDT profile. So, uh, what happened? Where'd you go from? Um, I resigned from EMS, and I am now a doctor with the hospital. Um, and now all I can see are the medical yeah. reports. So, Ooh. oh, okay, yeah. Which I didn't know because I just got hired on yesterday, so uh, I just realized it today. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, we have more fun. Honestly, it's just because I hate driving. If I'm gonna be <laughs> real. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, Michael, do you have anything you'd like to present? I don't have anything to present. I do have a question. Uh, what up? Who is in charge of EMS? I don't know. Did we talk about this at any council meeting? Like, is who, it, who is presenting uh, for the EMS? Happy. Is that you? Happy, happy is yeah. the Franklin chief. Lee. Uh, and then he goes Dion by Happy. is the assistant chief. Yeah, Dion, okay. do, Tam. Do they go to you in terms yes. of their issues? I talk with Happy pretty frequently about um, updates on things, and they uh, they talk to me about their issues. Uh, okay. He sent me paragraphs of complaints about the adoption law. So he, he knows for <laughs> he, he can talk to me at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I shut Yo, that down pretty hard. The, the, it's good to know that the, the chief of uh, EMS is uh, writing you not about the state of his job, but rather the state of his uh, imaginary fake family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, other than that, uh, we, we've been on the same page with a lot of things. He seems happy with things. Uh, that one, that one, not so much. Okay. Is he happy with things? Because there is rumors going around that EMS is quitting left and right, and there's nobody around. Uh, is this just a specific time issue uh, because... so it's it's not just a time zone issue um a couple very key people did leave veronica resigned that was their assistant chief then kiki has now resigned as well um just just a little bit burned out of it um so a big part of their high command have left but that those are the people that uh, were voted in to take the place uh, right. happy and dion i think they're both amazing so um you know it might be an adjustment for a bit but they, they are both really good then there was also, I believe, D'Angelo, who was one of the people who ran for chief, uh, who quit because, uh, I don't know his exact reason, but he, uh, quit right after losing, so there you go. Ah, uh, um, I've met both, uh, the chief and deputy chief. Uh, mm -hmm. they're great, love them, um, yeah, uh, also, uh, Kiki and Veronica, they, they quit like a month ago or some shit at yeah. this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Veronica's was a while ago. Kiki's a little more recent, but it's it's been a while. I think they've had some staffing issues, uh, to be honest. Uh, EMS and doctors always will. Um, but uh, they, they usually do a pretty good job. I haven't heard any major issues coming up. And I think uh, Happy and Dion are pretty good people to be in charge right now. Yeah, I, I, I know that EMS has been struggling, and that's why I diverted more state funds to paying them and whatnot. Hell yeah, uh, okay. It, I might even look at more in the future just because um, I'm going to be honest if there was a job in Los Santos that I would not want to do it's probably EMS <laughs> so uh, some That's extra fair. Same. Yeah. Ex extra incentive might be nice to uh, get more medics on the street yeah I know yesterday uh, there was an incident where the one EMS that was on duty was uh, held up at the strawberry gas station and then stabbed uh, after being Oof. robbed as well so Which, uh, who was it um, I believe it was Odessa. Um, <coughs> so, uh, and then as far as who did it, I don't know. Yeah, I meant the victim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, her name was Odessa. She's okay now, but yeah. Good. It, it just, you know, she was already struggling because the city was on fire and she was alone. And then that happened to her. So. Yeah, be careful at Strawberry. Uh, uh, Celine Windar likes to uh, gritty around that place. It's very dangerous. <laughs> mm. Um, are your are your questions sufficiently answered, Mike? Uh, it is as long as they're as long as they're looking into it, and the rumors are just kind of that rumors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I can ask them about it if you want. Uh, I have not heard issues, and I know some of some of you missed. Like I, I usually talk to their high command, like Happy and Dion, but um, I, I know some have been have come to talk to me about other shit too. Uh, no one has. They might just not know they can. Some might not know. So I'll, I'll try to field some questions. I'll let you know if there's any worry. Yeah, that's a like I, like I told you the uh, the other night, Michael. Uh, a lot of them have out of city obligations, 
and sometimes it just it, it all coincides where just nobody can be around to pick up the slack but oh, uh, yeah. they are Same still with the hospitals the worst yeah they are still actively hiring as well i know they have some more trainees mm -hmm. that they're uh, they've just put through so yeah all right well that's i think that's the only thing i had in terms of concerns i don't have anything to present today honored chief of staff uh have we worked the death penalty legislation with counter yeah. oh, wait, um, actually um Let's get Bobby out yeah. of here before we go. Oh, on. yeah, 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 yeah. He's been here for this whole time. Let's get hey. him. Sorry, Bobby. Um, Bobby, what, what what would you like to talk about? Mm, oh, before I get into this, let me hang up this phone call. Okay. So, Nakoda, you're a cop, aren't you, Nakoda? I gave it away. <laughs> you're a cop, Nakoda. You, you know, all this marijuana talk. I bet you, you want to marry one of these nuts in your mouth, bitch? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby, what the fuck? Bobby, get that, out. What is this? <laughs> no, 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 that, that was the beginning Bobby, of my speech. Bobby, you can actually get go. out. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe next week, Bob. <laughs> that was just a part of my stand up. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Everything he does is an actual what waste of time. It's what just he has an actual mistake. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, somebody should have swallowed him. Amen. True. Damn. All right. Uh, continue. Uh, death penalty legislation. Uh, it is a little bit further down. Sorry, everybody. It's report 3582. Took out the death coliseum. Sad. As cool um, of an idea as it was, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Counter and I like, kind of spitballed, worked through some things, and just to make sure that doctors are able to do what they need to do. Bobby Hopper. Um, hey, I wanted him to talk. Uh, <laughs> reworked that, but Counter did have the great idea of keeping... Blind dog. You'll see. Ha have a look at it. Where is it? Uh, uh, it's uh, report 3582. It's just titled Death Penalty. It's a little bit further down in reports. Oh, this might be a tougher one to push for, but give it a chance, guys. Uh, essentially just establishing right uh, uh, different uses of capital or different uh, methods of capital punishment for when uh, the death penalty has been adjudicated by the judiciary. Um, and I know in the past we had a firing squad and lethal injection. Now, obviously, firing squad's going to be a little bit, well, we talked about this last time, all but impossible given the current state of the DOC. Right, as far as in prison yeah. goes. Mm -hmm. um, Counter and I spitballed and kind of worked this out instead. Have nothing going on um, of having public executions except for lethal injection. Word. <laughs> Thoughts, comments, so, concerns. I'm not the firing squad blind would be dog, primarily chest, cops, because obviously they, you know, have firearms training. Uh, but mm -hmm. then there, there's all, there's the other part in there. Just you guys go for it. I'm against any public execution. Let's be real. Hopper been be watching for an hour. Show. Rude. That's there. There was a reason yeah, they've chat, been done be nice. in prison in the past, and it wasn't yeah, just I, because it was the prison. Yeah, someone's just gonna run up with six of their boys and shoot all the cops. I mean, what do you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm I, fine, I hate I'm to be the negative just, Nancy, yeah. but oh, God damn, uh, they're gonna ruin the dramatics. Uh, yeah, yeah damn. I've literally seen them it go is, really bad. It is bad. impossible for those kind of things to be held in public. Yeah. For, as Malton said, there are very good reasons for that. I, 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 <laughs> Work around. Work around. Let me hear this out. Instead of the Vinewood Bowl, right, for viewable tickets, what about the third floor courtroom behind the metal detectors? Yeah, and then we can have the janitors clean up the brain matter. Yeah, we'll yeah. shoot all, shoot, <laughs> let's shoot a bunch of holes in City Hall. I'll, I'll, I'll. Oh, God. I'm against it being in City Hall just because I believe uh, that, that should not be the purpose of City Hall. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm all for the death penalty. I just think you it has a suggestion? to be yeah, the basement of the police station. Like, I, I don't give Ooh. a fuck wh where where it is. It's just like do it Stalin style for all yeah. I care. Re like oh, reopen okay. Great CPD. Mm -hmm. Like, not a bad idea. I, a Stalin bad idea. style was not on the list of things I thought I'd hear today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this uh, my bingo card is really getting outrageous. <laughs> uh, you're right. So, like, de death penalty. Yeah, sure. Some people just deserve to die. Public, uh, absolutely not. But uh, a secured facility where it could be. Uh, Why is there a turbo charge when there's a PD robbery charge? For, like entry and for them to actually do the business, and we know nothing's gonna happen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm know, all man. for that. L location. Because we you know, TBD. I, I would say a, a police station since <laughs> the prison is, is out of commission is is the logical next step for that. Guillotine. Okay, that's understandable. 
Uh, that's a great Ooh, one too. That's a great one. We, should we have burned the stake on here, and I'm just saying, if, if I was ever put to death, <laughs> yeah. I'd want to be burned uh, the stake. Uh, See, I, so I would want. No, I would. What I want. No, nope, Couch and I would both I, want I, to be yeah. so I'd pick that. Whatever method that is deemed fit by by law. But yeah, that, that's that's my only stipulation is it has to be yeah, in a secure facility. You. Would death penalty be permanent death or temporary? Okay, if, so if, if someone does a capital crime and they get a death penalty, it's kind of understood that they're going to die I'm just saying. I'm fine with viewing. I want to sell pay-per-view tickets. Yeah, I have nothing against that. Just people can't be there who aren't uh, approved yeah. or... Well, that's fine, but I think they should be able to make money off of that because death of ruin needs to take up a lot of state resources, and I think that we should be able to make some of that money. Otherwise, they just get like a yeah, ton so, of time you in know, prison. Uh, set up a GoPro and, yeah, sell, sell the stream tickets to that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You know how sad Bobby and Carmine are going to be that you took away their, like, ultimate freedom? What do you mean? Oh. Uh, Previously, they would just get to actually murder the person in prison. Well, they could still do that before we get our hands on them. Yeah, I, but, you know, true. people people get really good medical care around here. They rarely die, you know? Yeah, we, we, got, we got the best medical, not a, best medical just, system just in America, baseball boys. Not at the prison. The I'm yeah. saying. Lucky. Okay, LMD, a... Now that you should, they should sell tickets to, I'd pay to watch Bobby Charles brain somebody. Um, well, okay, is that a good? Is that a middle ground you guys want? Where they they have to do it in a public area of the prison and sell tickets? What about doctor, something like that? Was the doctor going to clear time of death? They'd have to be taken out of the prison. Yeah, they'll throw the them on the ground like they do with the yeah. people right now for EMS. Oh my god. Well, let them do that, but only in this one case imagine when the they're scene, actually dead. Imagine the scene Bobby Charles wielding a baseball bat is just dragging this body behind him and he tosses it outside the gates oh like trash god. and just walks back into the prison. Uh, dragging the baseball bat it. on the concrete. The, the only thing I'll say is if we were worried about people interfering, if they did it in the prison, aren't we sort of inviting but, that? My other that, issue with that is also if uh, the standing policy is uh, DOJ or sorry, the prison is, is a, a legislative black hole. We're kind of pushing that envelope by now legislating some things that are going to be happening in there. Well, I'm not I'm not saying that we, we legislate them. I'm saying it just happened. If you're wanting the, the death penalty to be, well, you're just never getting out of prison. Uh, you know, and then, if Bobby and Carmine kill you, then you die. Is that, is that <laughs> yeah, it? <laughs> that's I pretty good. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not as far as I was going, okay? <laughs> well, no, I think that is a perfectly fine workaround. I, I just would not be comfortable with uh, passing something that says death penalty is allowed. Should I save it to run on removing it? That it is. I, I would just idea. go as far as. Uh, you've been sentenced to death, therefore uh, you're never getting out of prison. Uh, you know, Bobby and Carmine, hey, they're, they're all yours now. Is this like the... I freaking crashed? LMD, thanks for subbing. I'm reconnecting, dude. Um... He restarted one hour earlier now. Wait, really? Based? Really? So it's back to 11? Someone uh, modeled a statue. The horse one, yep. Mm 
Clocks went forward in EU today? Oh. <laughs> I fucking love that statue, dude. What up, Evacuation? Still uh, paying to subscribe to XQC? I know it's because every time you were in my chat, you at me with one of his emotes. I'm gonna wake up with a mask. Uh, I don't want to wake up in there with the mask. So we're gonna no clip over there. Minus one. Dude, we used that mask to do a heist at MRPD last night, bro. And then I get forced into wearing it when I relog. <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Hi. See you, nerd. Did an MRPD heist? Yeah, we uh, we stole the vending machines from the lobby and put them in the hospital. We used a forklift. They all blamed Conan. Who's winning the CS2 Major tomorrow? FaZe or Navi? Uh, actually, I have been watching that. I'm not sure, though. Hello. Hi there. Welcome back. I'm alive. Did you guys finish your uh, discussion on the death penalty? Yeah. We're going to table we're, it. Uh, table it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're going to try to come up with a good plan, but right now it's still just as is. Anything else you'd like to present? Not at this time, no. Okay. Uh, my turn. Yay. Let's re re let's repeal adoption fraud. <laughs> really? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Why the change of Fully? heart? Why the change of heart? It's because I got to sit down in my meditative spot and gaze out across the hills and trees and cities, uh, skyline, skyscrapers hands behind my back in silent contemplation and I saw people roaming about the city crossing like ships in the night never speaking to each other but living their lives independent of anything that we ourselves saw fit to legislate and I knew deep down the mayor well mayor is the will of the people and is it truly in the best interest of the people of Los Santos to tell them how that they're how they're supposed to live and behind closed doors or even out in public is it truly the prerogative of the mayor's office to try to tell them that they cannot look at another adult probably only a couple of years in difference in age and say hello son and to have that son look at the at, at the at the adult in this adoption relationship and say, hi, daddy, I love you. I just want people to live free and happily. Mm -hmm. And that's so why that I want to repeal adoption fraud. It should have never you, existed. <laughs> so you'd be repealing everything about it, like no more of like the, the filing, no more, just, just like it was everything. basically in the beginning. Everything. Everything. The adoption policy and the charge for adoption fraud all gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it just, it's not that. Look, at the end of the day, uh, if people want to LARP like they are, uh, you know, family, uh, I don't really give a shit. I kind of came to that realization. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's not really helping anybody. <laughs> so it should go. It should leave. Uh, so I move to repeal adoption fraud in its entirety. Uh, any nays? Uh, I have a question. Sure. Will the people who have already paid to adopt somebody be reimbursed? Uh, I would say no. Hold on. Okay. Um, 
not many people paid to do it. So I would be willing to uh, pursue uh, refunding the people that actually did pay in the system. Hmm. Uh, it's probably only like shit, like 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 three or four people, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like more than that if I'm huh. reading the document Hi. right now. How many? Oh, uh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. What? <clears throat> uh, what? Mr. Mayor, can I talk to you outside for a second? Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is confusing. What up, Judge Dredd? <laughs> uh, I've always been honest with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> See if you can do me the same. Uh, did you decide to run for re-election so you're attempting to fool all these fucking simpletons? By doing the most basic shit ever and giving them what they think they want, even though you disagree with it, because it's going to win you votes. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, okay. I, I, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I do actually think that, um, it's kind of overstepping, especially because a lot of those people probably voted for me, and uh, I, I don't th like. It's literally like just like a crackdown. You know, I don't think I should be uh, advocating for a crackdown. Are you on medication? <laughs> Yeah, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, you know, like antidepressants. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was gonna say I never heard a megalomaniac say I think I'm overstepping here. Yeah. Well, I'm not a megalomaniac. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> well, now that you're medicated, you're probably not. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I think genuinely, uh, eight, probably like eighty percent. Re-election. <laughs> yeah, all right. Cool. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say I'm pissed that I, you know you don't have to call me daddy. Didn't know it was Easter until this morning. Uh, as, as festive as I look, uh, so I'll probably just continuing to look cute and showing my outfit. Uh, I'll go buy some chocolate. Uh, okay. Any nays for repealing adoption fraud in its entirety? No, I think this is a great idea. Same. I, 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 just, <laughs> I just want to clarify. I, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm for either way, but are, are people getting their money back? Uh, we can discuss that after we vote on repealing it. Just give okay, a so coupon this, code to the mayor's um, office. A coupon code? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. For the, just the repeal itself. Yeah. Obviously. Not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was on the edge from or on the edge of it from the start. I had so so fuck it. Yeah. Unanimously, I kind of grew to love it, but yeah. Unanimously repealed. Uh, good. More freedom. Hooray. Um, oh, fuck it. Let's discuss. Uh, so, how many people? Uh, I can't see this document. Uh, so, uh, actually, have, uh, they, have they been filling it out in the uh, yep. actual yeah, reports? They have. Yes, they yeah. have. It's been up last time, March twenty fifth. Wait, what? was it twenty fifth? It might even be more recent. What's the uh, report number? It is report three four eight three. It's actually created by you. It says so. You should have access to it. Yeah. It got moved into the. If we moved into oh, the section, that it got moved. Been. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so how many? Uh, how many people in there? Uh, you all can share it with two, him, three. Nicola, Oh, can... yes, I can. I can. There's eleven adoptions as of now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wait, can I share it in here? I thought we had to be. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I can do this. Hold on. Uh, we can we can uh do 10k for each of them. Some of them were probably 25k adoptions, but the you know we changed it to 10k, and then probably some extra people went in. Um, it's not really uh taking money from the state because that money was it, it's essentially equivalent exchange, right? We're giving we're just gonna give them their money back. <clears throat> Um, and I, I mean, I can help you take care of that, Etta, or, uh, you can take care of it yourself, whatever you want to do. <sighs> yeah. Would... Oh, sorry. Uh, let me speak up. Uh, it, no, that's fine. Yeah. You can have, you can all direct them to me and then I can get it all taken care of. Okay. Um, cool. yeah, you oh, guys want to yeah. do uh, a time limit on reimbursement. So you're not just randomly having to worry about this later. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Them, like a couple of weeks, I guess, or a month. Yeah, we'll give them a month. Fuck it. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, well, I don't really have anything else. Uh, which would probably bring us to the conclusion of our meeting, unless anyone has anything that they've just remembered last minute. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, there was the question about the uh, pardon in... Um, do we want to just talk about that after the meeting, Crane? Which one? Uh, Eddie Rawlings? Was the trailer dumping? That's an appeal. We can talk about oh, that now appeal? if you want. Okay. Sure, fuck. Ooh, the up the tunnel one? Yeah, I mean, uh, if we're going to hear it, uh, then we'll convene three of us to go hear it, but I'll sort of tell you what the situation is and we can see if you guys want to take this up or not. Because we have the, the option of just summary judgment and just deny the appeal. Uh, so, uh, there was a case filed on the docket that was related to a gentleman being arrested uh, robbing HVAC equipment off of the roof of uh, the old courthouse and uh, a Milton Fire and Police Station. Uh, so the gentleman was arrested for felony trespassing uh, and some other charges. Uh, and the lawyer is contesting the idea of it being felony trespassing because he's claiming that uh, uh, it is not a government building. So essentially, uh, he's saying that okay. his his niche argument is that, uh, and I'm going to try to present this in the most fair light possible. His his argument is that the sky bridge that connects the two buildings uh, does not make them conjoined or subject to the same regulations, and his belief is that the uh, signage all over the police and fire station is not sufficient to put people on notice that the old courthouse is also considered a government building. What what building? Is, is this the, the courthouse in the northwest part of the city? Correct. Okay. Uh, South so, Boulevard del Perro and East. Yes, Warren, Abe Milton. Or Abe no, Milton, no, no, no. Abe, Abe Milton and Carcer. Carcer, okay. Yeah, so uh, essentially the claim is that that uh, charge is inappropriate because it's not a government building. Uh, the uh -huh. lawyers and representatives from both sides uh, did not respond in a timely manner to the docket. Uh, the lawyer uh, came to a uh, a very. Do you know, really uh, did know that everyone backstabs her. He wonder why? The and requested summary. She judgment. backstabbed me first. Uh, I discussed with <laughs> the other judges and provided summary judgment. So I informed him that it was in fact a government building. Uh, his client's ignorance of that matter uh, was not an excuse of the law. And uh, even if his client's ignorance was an issue, there is enough constructive notice considering the ladders you have to use to climb up to the old courthouse are literally right across the street from a tons of signs that say fire and police everywhere and no trespassing. Mm -hmm. And there's actually guys standing there. Uh, I said, even if ignorance was an excuse, I don't uh, agree with you. So uh, he then immediately appealed my decision to myself with two of you. Oh, uh, so yeah, it is go. up to you guys uh, how to proceed. We can convene a panel, hear the arguments in full in court, or we have the option to summary judgment either way. Either confirm me or reverse me or whatever. At the risk of sounding, uh, let's just say, like, crash or whatever, like, if they didn't respond to the, the docket posting, does the, the person even care? Like, why is this going this far if they didn't even make it to court to the first place? Like why did why did the it get summary judgment the first time around? The lawyer asked for it. Okay, so the lawyer motioned for summary judgment on the first one, and now it's getting appealed because they didn't get the answer they wanted. Yeah, so, I was just about to say it, the they thought for sure they were going to win, and then does when the they defendant got defendant want to go through all this, or is this, is this just a lawyer who wants to? I don't know. I, it's not fair for me to speculate on that. I'm just presenting the facts of the matter to you guys, independent of right. any of my own conclusions. Gotcha. I mean, if they were found trespassing on... If there, let's put it this way. Are there two of you who would like to sit on a panel with me and hear that case? I want to hear the arguments. I'll do it, yeah. We talked about this, Ellen. I want to. Okay, good. Then we will convene and schedule. Hmm. Sounds good. Do you want help scheduling? Uh, if you want. Okay.
sick. Good luck, Edda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Where's my money, Edda? Room, thanks for something. Yeah, I'll be meeting with you after class. Okay, all right. I got you, I got you. So am I am I just reimbursing the 10k each or is it just the full amount that they paid at the time? Uh just do 10k cuz uh I don't okay. I don't know if it's possible From to try. What it looks like nobody paid uh over 10k. What about the people okay. who got caught for fraud? What do we say about them? Oh. Uh we can't do well, anything. We can't do anything for them. It's like people who got right. caught for jaywalking before we made it to criminalize this. Yeah, still it okay. was still a crime at the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. I should have followed the law. Fuck it. Uh, uh, Twatter is going crazy. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. No, they can't have separation of church and state back now. Actually, I would like that. I don't want to be a forced Mormon. How much longer do you have on that? Not that long. Eight days. It's fine. I can do anything for eight days. Oh, yeah, yeah. You pitched something about uh, outlawing Mormonism. Uh, I'm on board. Just so you oh. know, if, they, if you ever want to... I'm all in on that. Let's table that for now. Okay, okay. Just let me know. Uh, when Song wants her adoption fraud reimbursement, it's like, okay, Too well, bad. No. It, you still committed the crime at the time. <laughs> I, mean, I guess she could try to appeal on that True. basis, but she, yeah, you're, she's not getting it automatically. No, you don't win an appeal on that basis. Yeah, no, it doesn't work Perfect, that way. yeah. Ex post facto protects you mm -hmm. and hurts you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, then there you are. The judge would tell her no. All right. Kendra, can I just ask you real quick? What's your uh, yeah. yeah? What's your core uh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, you know what? Something tells me I think I can figure that out. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty available. Okay, all right. I have no laugh. It's fine. Korean after four p.m. PST on weekdays. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, does anybody else have anything else? Are we good to go? Uh, I think we're good. Oh, I think we're good. Is everyone just on Twitter right now? I'm yeah. being blown the fuck up. So yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It's uh, fine. I'll just retwat you throughout the day consistently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, okay, all right, then, uh, so Nakota, can we go handle some business real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. See you all next week. All right. Okay. Oh, no. I retwatted the wrong one. Well, here we are. Siri, turn off twatter alert. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. I'm about to do the same. Jesus. Hey, I need access to uh, audit incident reports for the PD. Oh, oh yeah. uh, Max, did you oh, ever get too? that bank export that we talked about? I still have not gotten that. Uh, it actually was sent <laughs> to Alan here, and then uh, I asked Alan to send it to me, but he never did. <laughs> yes, Please. I did, you dumb son of a bitch. What? Oh, Ooh. oh my Ooh. god. Wow, well, Alan really just like replied to the email thread where you had asked for the previous thing and it had been sent to you three times. I see her right here. Hook Aww. me up. And then, oh my god, you just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah, I'll send it to you now, Ada. Thank you. So, were your suspicions I'm... correct? So, um, just a young adult. kind no of. No money, no yeah. clothes, no home. Please okay. adopt me, buy me paywall. Please. Fuck. Oh my god. What <laughs> Marla. Eddie, Eddie, can you email me real quick? A father. Uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot her name. Adopt me, it's free. Yeah, it is free. That doesn't mean I want to adopt you. 
Put some fucking clothes on. Oh my god. I walk in, try to come in. Oh, the meeting over. An incidents for me too? How come that lady said it was creepy that I called her mommy? <laughs> don't want to adopt me now. Well, because it, it can be kind of creepy. Out. Also, don't call her with me mommy. You got, you got a grown-ass man in his underwear trying to get adopted. Do you want me calling other people daddy? Nope. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that why you supported repealing adoption fraud? Adoption uh, policy? Is that why? You want Alan to adopt me yeah, you, you ruined my bit. Oh my god. Was gonna yeah, be, you would have called me was gonna, what the my, hell? I would never have called you daddy. He was going to be my... Uh, That's okay, son. Pats on the head. We can, we can still, we, actually, we can no. do it now anyway, because it's repealed. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'll call you daddy if you buy me paywall. Uh... What do you, what do you yeah, mean, don't do this to you? Uh, Alan's uh, been like a father to me for as long as I can remember. Alright, Alan's Perfect, thank you. Alright, let's go scare more people. Uh... 3, 1, 2, two right. 3, oh, two, three sure there's gonna be a line forming. Alex, you wanna go down here and... Oh, you would've scared me, but I recognize Oh, hey, Siobhan. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, hottest nice. criminal alive. How's it going? Uh, Wait, who's the guy with yeah. the bike? I don't know. You know me. No. <laughs> Please, I need paywall. I'm broke. I have no. no Bro, I'm not saying this is what you did, Max. Just because adoption's free. This is what you did. You did this, Max. Bro, even if I adopted you, I'm not gonna pay for your fucking paywall subscription, bitch. I'm just trying to be a Yeah, those clothes suck. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna give it a million percent. Not my style. For men's. Yeah. I haven't seen the women's I mean, stuff. Hello, you're looking at some of it. I look great. Yeah, okay. You said I yeah, look great in that, everything. That shit is good. But the, the men's stuff, is it's like fucking like high school or stuff. You know? I'm just not into it. That's, that's, that's fine. Oh, okay. I and mean, then, yeah, the converse are very, very youthful. So, um, here's, you want to hear what my campaign plans are? Okay? Yeah, you'll get, uh, you'll get uh, not, not here. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Place is not. Whatever. It's no secret. It's not Hello, secret. Judge Hallow. Hey, Mr. Mayor, what's going on? Uh, Hi. Drunk. Is that Pig? Who is that? Yeah, it's Pig. Let's rob Pixie. a bank. Okay. Oh, she's drunk. No. Don't no. do that. Don't That's do that. a bad idea. Don't do let's that. Pretend to rob a bank. Let's let's not do that. Also either. a bad idea. Come on. Huh. I'm a responsible adult. My whole <laughs> life, I want to do something irresponsible. Uh, yeah. I know that about just, you. Just do drugs <laughs> instead. There are no drugs. I don't trust the people who handle the drugs. They're like shady and they probably touch them with their we So you're still face. being responsible, Pixie. You're supposed to do something irresponsible. I don't want to die. Um, we schedule drugs. I'm drinking a lot. Yeah, we schedule drugs. Right now we have what, like you have CDS now? Yeah, but, I mean, but, can... but right now we oh, have shit. we right now we have marijuana. That's it. Generic Holy drug. shit! <laughs> the fucking list. It just makes you hungry, oh my God. and then no food places are open, and then you have to like raid a vending machine. Still uh -huh. waiting for meth to be in the city. We I'm don't even have it. vending machine at PD anymore. I don't know what it's happened. Boarded up. I don't know. It's boarded up. I, why would they do that? Oh, wait, Chris, I don't is know. that you? Uh, hi. Yeah, hi. Hey, buddy. What's happening? <laughs> how's it going? Yeah, you're just, you're it's going good. How's your, uh, how's your illustrious uh, repair business? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got my good. text, yeah? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, just making sure. Are you done? I wasn't able to oh, actually earn enough hey, money so I can put it back into the park. Ready to go well, that's okay. Nice conversation. Now you can, now do you can just go out and do your job. <laughs> Dig in the Mega Man. Yeah, I did my job. I'm off you duty fucking now. zoomer <laughs> trash. <laughs> um, you actual zoomer trash. You could be trash. working though. Just trend. I know. <laughs> what? What? I know. What, what did you say? Sorry. You could be working though to make more money. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's true. No, the, the thing is, like, I don't need that much money. I just. You know. I need it all so yeah. I can buy a house so I can turn it into an office. Cool. Because uh, I get jack shit. I have to do it myself. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna do it myself! Here. Do it yourself. Live an American dream to yeah, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. So. I don't have bootstraps! Is that paywall, by the way? No. Are you, no. Is that paywall am, you're I'm rocking right now? No, I'm, I'm too poor for that shit. Poor! <laughs> don't punch me. 
<laughs> I was thinking about it. Hi, Dad. Hey, what up, son? <laughs> Wait, what? No. What up, Mike? We might have to dress up again tonight. Wow, Michael's when he was going to sleep. We missed one. Nice. Oh, right. The one in uh, the, the waiting room or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, they, they that, still get drinks. That one's gonna be hard to get to. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so hard on the stairs and everything. Uh, who do we want to give that to? I'm sure there's somebody that would take it, take a donation of a soda machine. Hmm. I'm trying to think of places where uh, one of those would be very handy. Mm, is it a place we could get boats? Ooh, look, we could. Yeah, we could do it at uh, the Grime Depot. Grime, Grime Depot, yeah, good work. That or sanitation? I don't know who. Well, I feel like we already have the grime boats, right? From fucking Marlo. Or well, okay. First of all, I, Marlo is Marlo is Marlo saying right. that he's a hundred percent, you know, gonna get us the votes. This is a bit. I kind of, I kind of trust him right now, but it's, it's like sixty forty, you know. Like, sixty forty. That could, yeah, that fair. could swing. Yeah. All right, well, we can figure it out. Uh, I just uh, remembered that there's another one, so I'll, uh, I'm will i going to dip for a little bit. I'll be back later, so if, if you want to come up with a plan of some sort, we can. If not, we can just, you know, fucking wing it again. All right. Ooh. The, the heist planning will commence. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Put it on a top, the top of a mountain. What are we doing? What are we doing? I want to talk about, well, we have to wait. Well, uh, yeah, I got to piss. So after that, yeah, uh, you didn't take one break. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's tough. I, I mean, there's a uh, Ophelia Flowers. It was a was Ophelia. No, I didn't. Was Ophelia Flowers the uh, yeah, what, the what, lady what supposed to do? that? Uh, yeah, Ophelia Flowers is the one who did the towing. How come she uh, didn't? I mean, I can just threaten by me and Carmine if they keep fucking with her. How come she didn't what? Express happiness? Why did she ask for separation of church and state? No, when I talked to her, how come she didn't bring any of this up? Mm -hmm. Probably because she was being questioned about specific other I mean, things. Let me just talk to Max. Ophelia's yeah, a good person to speak on. to. Yeah, hi, She's, um... Up? Hi, Ophelia. Been around a while. I just, I just want to let you know that, uh... If the mayor couldn't do those things, they probably wouldn't happen at all. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's fair. It's just, yeah, you know, like, I, 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 fought, I fought tooth and nail to represent people who were interested in, like, actually pursuing, like, a religious life um, in Los Santos. When it, when I brought it up, the, the grumbles yeah, from literally it. every single person on the table except for my wife, was it was deafening. Right. Because the average person is, it, they're fucking like hats off atheists and shit. And they're just like, I don't give a fuck about religion or people who oh. worship or blah, blah, blah. Uh, also, uh, for the marriage stuff, uh, my wife and I fought tooth and nail for spousal privilege, right. which is actual benefit to being married. Oh, you're right. Uh, also, okay. also, uh, it's judges that decide who gets to get yeah. married, not me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just know that public perception is basically that your wife was trying to impose Catholicism via those, from those religions. Like, I haven't actually. Or, a legislation. I haven't actually mm -hmm. looked into them too deeply myself. Yeah, we uh, uh the, the, we don't have a state religion, and okay. I, I'm I'm literally willing That's to good. accept if someone came up to me and told me that they worshipped a garbage bag. If they had a good enough proposal for it, I would let them do it. I don't care. That's fair. <laughs> um, is spousal privilege going to include things like name changes? Um, so spousal privilege is a I term used to describe mm -hmm. um not having to testify against your spouse. Right. Uh, okay. That's basically it. Um, there I'll are. It. It, it is a. Uh, as for name changes, like my wife's been in the process of getting her last name changed. Uh, yeah. For a while now, uh, it's really hard to do, on certain mm. things. Like I think on the MDT and stuff, it's easy. But like. Right. Uh, uh, like other places, like your ID, like and stuff like that. I don't know. I would love for if it was easy, but yeah. I think it's actually super fucking hard to do. Oh, Jeez. no, yeah. In the past, it was kind of a you had to know the right people to get it done at all thing. And the, even then, it was a 50-50 chance. So 
it is some pathway to that being done eventually for real would be nice. But yeah. yeah. Uh, if yeah. it's difficult, then it's difficult, you know? I'll ask around and see if I can find uh, someone that is actually uh, talented at doing that. Uh, yeah, I just want to okay. click. I saw your tweet and I just want to clear up some uh, misconceptions and shit. Yeah, no, like um, I said, I th neither of those laws really affect me. I have no intention of getting married, and I don't. Um, sorry, my friends are running each other over because they're idiots. Uh, I have no intention of getting married, and I'm not really a religious uh, figure. But I like I said, uh, when those laws came out, like people were kind of uh, under the impression that it was due to your wife's religion. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. your perspective is. If there's if there's one thing I've noticed about the people of Los Santos is that they would rather do anything other than speak directly to me. <laughs> you don't work there, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm starting to get that impression. Right. Like, I think people okay. think you might be a little yeah, less approachable than you actually seem to be. Oh. It's like, so far, like, we've had, um, I don't know, like, two hey, by the way, phone conversations. By, could... by the way? Oh? Yeah. I'm going to call you O oh, because I'm in public right now. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, big shout out for the ups the other night. Uh, yeah. I, uh, the, the, I heard that motherfucker's voice crack when I called him out. <laughs> It, it sounded like he was gonna cry. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> funny. Um, so thank you for that. Also, if, yeah, if, don't if, worry. if you ever encounter someone who's like kind of like doom spiraling about me or my policy stuff, I I would give them my phone number and I I swear I will talk to them until they are satisfied. And I, I, right. I I don't want I I my my main mission right now is to clear the streets of any misconceptions or miscommunications. Right. Blah blah blah. Anyway, um, yeah, you're definitely a lot more approachable than people make you out to be. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I'm gonna do a town hall here in like 30 minutes. So okay. if you um, get... sounds. Hey, Siobhan. Um, I, I would be there, but I've got a prior engagement. But um, that's the one other thing is if you could schedule town halls or at least have like a general time that they're happening. A lot of people have been like they don't like how spontaneous it is because like um say they they have a pressing issue, but they don't know when you're doing town halls. They can never really bring it up in that public forum. Yeah. Um, uh, that's a good idea. I know it's hard given like how everything is, but like just you know at least having like one scheduled one for the people who haven't been able to catch you would be great. So it's kind of spontaneous on my end too. So what I'm thinking maybe is I, I set like a time uh, for shift two and shift three that where they will yeah. happen and if they're gonna happen, mm -hmm. so people can kind of I don't know. Uh, what I, what I've what I've taken to doing in preparation is. Um, yeah. announcing oh, yeah. them and then being like, hey, this is in like 30 minutes or an hour. Wow. But, you know, that, that runs into the issue of uh, the last time I tried to do this, there was actually other events happening in the city, so I ended up having to delay it. Anyway, yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, good feedback, and I will talk to my wife about it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you for uh, talking to me. I will catch you later. Okay, love you. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey. Hi. There. What up, Ben? Hey, I just saw the most disgusting thing of all time. Hmm. I just saw Barrick Johnson stand on the hood of his car and say, don't talk to my daughter like that. When I, when I, <laughs> when I said, when I said it was very rude for what Kit up, to hit me with her bike. She hit you with your bike? On accident, but. I, I don't know if it adds chain of command conflict to be adopted. Yeah, uh, you know, let, let, I, I decided, you know, let people live out their weird family fantasies. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> uh, judges want to speak to us real quick. I, I hate Hello, Mr. Hello. Mr. Mayor. Hey, yeah, I got to talk to you for a second. What's up? We need to talk. What's up? Uh... So one thing we didn't think about with the whole uh, Bobby Charles and Carmine thing is, uh, <laughs> well, how do I put this? Uh, so Ember Quinn, who is testifying in a first degree murder case, or sorry, she, on trial first oh. degree murder, sorry, on yeah. trial yes. first degree murder, testifying as a defendant, uh, oh, wants to we bring certain about. information and apparently Bobby and Carmine are accused of witness tampering her and torturing her until she agrees that she won't say certain information. But if she's on a hold and they're in the prison with no laws, then <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys the, the straight answer. Um, I'm a bit of a clown cyst and I really don't give a shit what happens to her, but that is, nice. a, that is a good, 
uh, you know, because if it wasn't a client, yeah, replace her with somebody else. Yeah. Right? It's like, right. uh, I will say <laughs> we have we like have this a, isn't the first time an issue been, has happened. where I'm not sure how we proceed with that because hmm. we don't have like house arrest. We don't, you, you know, know, you know what we do. Um, we don't put them in for the nines. We take, actually wait a second. Hold on. Well, we we don't put wait, them wait, in. wait wait. Oh, 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 let me finish this up before I forget. Um, we don't put them in for the nines. We put a vending machine and a, a water machine in the, the Sandy Shores Police Department cell. And then we lock them in that cell and then give them like a thousand bucks so they can just buy food and water for themselves whenever, whenever they need it. <laughs> you know, uh, I, say, I, I had the same that. idea. I had the same idea, except we should use uh, state funds to purchase a safe house uh somewhere in the like in the south side in. no no get it decorated you know so it's like a, a livable but modest very you know sparse okay uh space uh, and maybe as you mentioned put some vending machines in there and then uh you know they would get escorted in and locked in the building <laughs> and uh there would only be certain people with access like parole officer and you know they could let oh, in visitors right and here. all that kind of stuff and that would solve the issue yeah, we could use Bobby that right with people on holds until trial and that way there's also, you know, more people could come visit them and there's more, you know, they oh, can do so visits. You know, actually, you know, uh, do you know about that Scientology torture tr uh, trailer that they had on like their uh, grounds and stuff? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, what? Wait, what? Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it was like a, a documentary. Yeah, it wasn't a documentary. I forgot. It, they called it. Um, I think it was The Hole. Um, uh. My wife and I could sell our trailer. And Ooh. we could use the the trailer as as a jail. <laughs> it's right behind the the grocery store, uh, the twenty four seven on. Uh, so close to the prison too. Yeah, it's I will say, <laughs> why sell it if you could just say, "Hey, here's the prison," and then like that way you have access to it. Well, because I don't want to be sleeping in my bed and then hear like the moaning of like a fucking prisoner. Whoa! Room. What the? What do you mean? No, you're I mean, I mean that? Uh, the, the, the anguish uh, uh, moaning. The anguish. Yeah, the moaning. anguish moaning. <laughs> yeah, still, you're not into that. What the hell? I, I'm for um, using state funds for. That. I think that's a creative solution to our current system. Hey, as long as it's not like yeah, a fucking. I think that would be apartment. a cool. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Or I'm saying buy like a shitty house somewhere, or a trailer yeah. or something, decorate yeah. it, and then. But the idea would be that it would be, uh, how to phrase this? It'd be big enough for the them to move blocks, around because in, Bobby so and Carmine would have access come visit to them. What do you want, Bobby? Them and all that our trailer stuff. is literally perfect. Just observing where my tax dollars are going. We're, ta it. we're talking about the how to handle the uh, the loophole of you being able to witness tamper people that are in there for a hut if they have information on you specifically. <laughs> oh, there is there is no loophole to have. maybe if the police uh, paid the ransom then they then they get the inmate. What? Yeah. That's not go. how that works. Maybe police <laughs> didn't want to stick their Did dick in me every on. fucking Did you day. Just say paid the ransom. <laughs> I mean, it's it's lawless. I mean, if I order you to let a person out of prison, what are you gonna do? Uh, of course, I, I'd always listen to you, Supreme Overlord. Okay, so then ransom isn't a word in your vocabulary. Got it? <laughs> You're not mad at me for uh, getting a kidnapping, are you, Supreme Overlord? It was kidnapping. Yeah, I just told him you got arrested, man. I didn't tell him the charges. I'd You're say, kind of fucking I'd say right it's, a, it's kidnapping with extra steps. So human trafficking. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was more like a, it was retrieving an illegal alien that left the dog town. You're found guilty of kidnapping, reckless evading, and criminal threats. You know, Bobby, it, it you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you know, it sounds way worse than it actually Bobby, you is. you realize kidnapping is a violent felony? It sounds way worse than it actually is. You realize the standard we set for DOC was no violent felonies, you moron? <laughs> <laughs> it was an escaped convict. It was an escaped convict. They weren't escaped, they were let out. No, 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 it, it was an escaped convict. They were not let out, they escaped. Yeah, no, Bobby's the, right here. The, the, she should have the witness uh, say that she was beat down after he let her out? No, mm. she was never let out, she escaped. <clears throat> Okay. She, uh, you need something, Bobby? What'd you say, Supreme Overlord? You said you need something? Wait, no, no, I just, I was just wanting to tell you that. You know, everything I did, it was for, it was in good faith. It was in good faith. <laughs> Bobby, uh... Good faith. Why would DOC have good faith? 
How would there be qualified immunity for DOC? You know, I'd say that if there was an escaped inmate, that we should be the ones to to go retrieve said escaped inmate. You know, you know, she was a murderer. She's in there for a capital offense, Supreme. So, Overlord. so you want me to let you run into uh, the quote unquote normal jurisdiction uh, and act like a police officer, even though you are not? And what are you going to do? Are you going to are you going to secure her with weapons? What? She was secured with the with my uh with with the me and Carmine's charismatic tongue. We talked her into uh, coming back. Yeah, that's inappropriate. But the, beyond the point, uh, Bobby, you're you're not a cop. Hi, Sherry. I'm aware I'm not. Hello. Not mad at Looks like it will be at night in 50 minutes. How was how's the how's the box smelling these days? Uh, it's smelling pretty nice. I've been eating a lot of cheese, and Reed hasn't hasn't had any encounters with me, so I'm kind of sad. Cool. What up, Lionel? Not much. How are you, Mr. Mayor? Good. Does anyone know whose car this is? Uh, a woman named Sherry Pie. Oh, is this your parking spot? Yeah, park it when I'm in a hurry. I don't care. You can park it here whenever you want. But cool. full full disclosure, there is some pussy ass bitch marking up cars for tow around here. Who is it? Uh, it's Norman Adams hiring random civilians to do it so that they can't be tracked back to his ID so that I can't yell at him for being a pussy ass bitch. Why is he such a weirdo? God damn it, get him killed already. He's always crying about something. Yeah, he's a, he's a little bitch. I, I think uh, being a judge has gone to his head. Yeah. Max, I want to speak to you about something. What? I have a religion. You want to you wanna start a religion? Well, it's a religion founded by Triangle Dan a long time ago, but I found a stone tablet which tells me to, you know, spread the name of the religion. It's called Tree of Life, and it's at Mirror Park. Um, yeah, write up a, a good summary of your tenets and, like, what you guys believe, and then uh, we can meet it and talk about it. Tenants? We'll tenants, yeah. It's, there are so many. Probably the whole city. Okay, well then write down the most important ones. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to write everything down and I'm going to bring it to you, okay? Okay. Tenets. Tenets. T-E-N-E-T-S. Tenets? That. Look it up. Google it. <laughs> I can't Google. My Google is broken. <sighs> Hold on. Thank you. You're so <laughs> A principal belief or doctrine generally held to be well, true. Well, we just told Alan that you told him to go get the inmate. Hi. Are you hey. above me? Where are you? No, I'm outside talking to Sherry. What's up? Uh, did you... Uh, did you? Uh, you some more tap water? Yeah. Did you tell Bobby Charles to... Sandy, I get it. Leave the prison and... Retrieve an inmate from our jurisdiction? Get my tough nope. water figured out. <laughs> he, he told me that you told him to go retrieve an inmate that had escaped Bolenbrook, and you like you gave him police powers. No, I did not do that. I mean, this is the same guy that went up on the stand and lied about lied about slicing someone's throat being knife play and consensual BDSM. <laughs> Ew. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I figured he was lying. All right, thank you. Yep. Well, time to hide my office for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. He looked at me. He looked at me. He looked straight at me when he said that. Wake up to Retreat. Retreat, dude. What just happened? Can you explain? So Bobby called the mayor when someone got out of prison when they shouldn't have. And the mayor said, after Bobby asked, hey, can we go get her? And the mayor was like, yeah, sure. I don't care. <laughs> um, And our counterplay right, so to him so saying that it was our fault. It's been a good comms day. Yeah. Yeah. Was to just lie Thank about ever telling him. Yeah. 
that he had permission. <laughs> um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Might have to drop efficiency here. A wee bit. Towing is 6.5. 6.5 million. Even for the last two weeks to ignore this shit. You guys, you, need, you guys need to understand that it is not Max's plan for the state to make money at all. Zero. Zero plan. Until re-election. It needs to be neutral, though, uh, for edit to not get mad. Don't care. Income tax. So in the span of, what was it, two or three days? We kind of got up to 1.3 there. It's pretty big. Do, 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 do. Did you just slide judge salary down by 30%? No. You make this apply to the public server too? Nope. Hello. Who is answer? Hello. Ex Mir, your highness, your honor. Salim, hello. You are beautiful. You are magnificent. You are. Wow. What do you, what do you need? How are you doing today? I'm here for the meeting of the business and the proposing. I want to propose to you. Uh, you're a felon. You can't own a business. Doesn't mean. I thought you were the man of the people. Bro, those are the rules. <laughs> Listen to me. Do you have Sometimes, someone else? Is there someone else that's going to present it? Okay, I can't represent it, but does he no. have to be there with me? How, yes. does it, how is this working? I'm very confused. Like, it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting. He, he needs like, to present it to me. But if his English is not very good and I'm translating for him. What if his English is not very good and I'm here to speak for him? Uh, he is the I, main I, man. I, I'd love to speak with him to make sure that you're not just lying about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so is this like a one-on-one -on -one meeting? How is this? How, how does this work? Um. I mean, me, you, the guy that's actually clean, my wife, like that sort of meeting. Very good. Very good. And when will this be? Can I get like an early pass? Like a, like a, you know, like an early when, pass? Whenever like you and him are available, then we can meet. Very good. Gangbang action. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, love you. Bye-bye, love you too. That was Salim Windar. Hello, Salim. Yep. Ugh, the guy. What did he want? Um, business? Yep, and I had to when remind he's a, him he's a, a felon. Super felon? That he's a super felon? Ugh, Salim. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel bad talking to him, considering that I, um... You know, it was sort of responsible for him having some of those felonies. <clears throat> I, I'm do? not responsible. I didn't do anything. He's the one who did stuff. I just helped advise the police. I... Uh, Remember we we, uh, we caught him with frost. Yeah, that's right. We did catch him with frost. Um, I also wrote the warrant for. I also wrote his hut warrant for the ego act stuff. <laughs> nice. Whoops. I never actually yeah. uh, took a little break. Yeah, go do that. You do that. Do, 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 do. I'll guard you. Thank you, darling. On your Majesty's most. Uh, you know, Don. Thanks for something.
What up? Something's outside. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I wrote up some talking points, by the way. Uh, like, ten old talking points for today. Like, vision for second term, and then, like, fireside chat for first term, right? Like, an overview of, like, accomplishments, achievements, roadblocks we faced, why you're the right person for the job, that sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Just kind of trying to put some stuff together. I don't know what we want to add to a vision for a second term. Uh, we can talk about it later. Okay. Let's sort this uh, Salim stuff out. All right. Hello, Mr. Mayor. How are you doing today? Hey, this Mayor, this okay. is my this is my cousin. My name is Saif Ali Khan. Hey, sir, Kamina. Okay, let's go uh, in my office. Perfect. Let's go, Vian. Come on, come inside. Come in. You both locked it? Okay. Nope. 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 Alright. Uh, Mr. Mayor, as you can see, he's, I'm going to be translating everything that he is doing. Assalamu alaikum, Mayor Saab. Sorry, I had to do some texting. Is that Bobby? Because he texted me and I just wanted to know if you already responded. Perfect. All right, uh, hello, Speak hello up. Mayor. How are you doing? How are you doing, Mr. Mayor? Hi, who's your, uh, who's your friend's name? This is my cousin, Saif Ali Khan. His English is not very good, so I'm here to translate. Okay, and you said you wanted to speak to him to make sure. So uh, there you go. Saif Ali Khan, introduce yourself, please. My oh, name is Saif Ali Khan. मैं बोल रहा है मेरा नेम सैफ अली खान है मुझे अमेरिका के साथ लैंड हो गया मैं गैस स्टेशन की वर्क करना है कुत्ती की पीना है तभी मैं मुझे इंग्लिश नहीं समझ आता है अम कैन यू शो मी योर आईडी चलो आईडी आईडी अम कार्ड इट्स बिट हार्ड इज इट he understands english but not that good nazra card well tell him in, yeah tell yeah 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 tell, nazra card nazra card tell him in his language to show me his id all right he's coming he's coming he's coming he's coming he's bringing his nazra card yola nazra card safe ali khan safe ali khan mara naam uh you You've been arrested for moonshining. Misdemeanor ho gaya. Yeah, misdemeanor. Uh are do you intend on continuing to run moonshine? Nein. Nee, main G6 ki worker hai. Sali kutta. Said you're a very intelligent and smart person. Mujhe moonshine nahi pina hai. Okay. Um I cannot give this guy a business. <laughs> Why? Because you? I don't understand him. <laughs> I'm going to translate. Well, okay, but are you going to translate for every single person that wants to do business with this guy? I'm going to teach him English as well. Okay. Well, teach him English and then let's have another meeting. <laughs> All right. Safely can't. English bowl. Say English. Say English. Ball. Say English. Ball. Hello, right. sir. My my name. Uh huh. Saif Ali Khan. Okay. How may I help you? <laughs> um. Do you know why you're here? Uh, side bar, me. Side bar, me. Side bar. Side bar. Please.
Called me a dirt dog. <laughs> okay. Hello. My name is Saif Ali Khan. Come to America to American opportunity, dream, and everything, sir. And one misdemeanor, but does not impact my whole livelihood, sir. True. I've been very good since then. True. Um, I've done lots of great things in community. Um, you can ask many people of the G6 community. I'm very good friends with Link Winters. Very good friends with lots and lots of people. Alexander Ripper, the manager as well. Yeah. Alexander. I'm friends with all of these Pause. people, sir. Yes. Why were Carry you on. pretending not to speak English when you first walked it's, in here? It's not my first language, sir. It's not my first language, he, sir. He, he thought he was also a Pakistani man. You thought I was Pakistani? Yes. It's your ball, your hair. It's very he said it's your hair. Yeah, he said it's a very, you know, like, so in Pakistan, right, the hair is very dark and thick and greasy, as you can tell by mine and his. Okay. Sir, it looks very pristine as if yeah. you were using ginger ale, olive oil, sir. Good spice. I use that yeah. quite regularly in my hair. We use a quash products at home. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Oh, my English, not very good. You see, this man here, my cousin, he brought me all the way from the small town in Lahore to this place right here. He took me to, he gave me job, he gave me opportunity. I've been here for over a month and a half. Mm -hmm. Apart from one misdemeanor mistake with Captain Slacks, who then gave me the money, sir. Mr. Slacks had given me money. Or he felt bad for me because I was caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time. You can ask Mr. Slacks. But well, I'm, I'm not concerned about the misdemeanor. I was just wondering if you were intending on continuing to do. No, no, no. I am a humble man and I am community, sir. But this is all thanks to this man here who gave me opportunity to work at gas Hello. station. And I would like to help him understand, you know, the things may have to be legally. And I'm one of the most smartest men in Pakistan. Well, uh, how do people from Pakistan usually feel about alcohol? Um, usually, sir, it is haram in our culture, but we have modernized, sir. We have modernization, and um, I would not sell it personally, but we would sell it commercially and properly, licensely, full with everything, business contacts, very connected. We would sell it, sir. Okay. So, do you have like a mm. proposal? Yes, I have There's a, a sidebar. Another sidebar, please, Mr. Mary, if you don't mind. Thank you very please. much. Uh, sidebar, sidebar. I'm thinking they don't have anything in writing. Same. Bobby wants a pardon. I don't think I think. Hello, I your mayor. You Hello, heart. mayor. I have something to say. I have something to say. Hello, my name is Saif Ali Khan, and I have a talker that will speak for me. Okay. Ham. Ham. Salim Mundar. Hello, your mayor and Hi. madam. My name is Salim Mundar, and this is Saif Ali Khan. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Mr. Mayor, I am a felony. Mm -hmm. And with that, that means that I cannot rightfully own the gas station. Mm -hmm. Which is completely fine. Mm -hmm. So, I have thought of a brand new, lawfully, revolutionary way that will keep the gas station clean and legal. And that is, Mr. Saif Ali Khan, my cousin, will be the rightful owner of the Salim Gas Salim at Strawberry. With this being said, I would like to give you my proposal of the Salim Gas Salim. As you know, in the past, past many, many years, that the Salim Gasalim strawberry area has been predominantly known to be run by gangsters. Mr. Mayor, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. When you look at me and Saif Ali Khan, do we look like gangsters and what do you see? I see hard workers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you have seen that I work at the gas station day in, day out. I put my blood, sweat and tear while Mr. Saif Ali Khan goes out and depressingly does group safe. Until he can no longer walk. We have the drive in our system and we would really, really, really appreciate you, the mayor and the madam mayor 
could look into the strawberry gas station salem gasoline this could be revolutionary not just for the community not just for all companies but for everyone the police the hospital a community hub where people that are feeling down can come there and be very happy mm. in the past two months since i've been here from pakistan i have learned many many things about people that the people that do group six are depressed and when they come to the salim gasoline they say this is the best experience that i've ever had but there is one issue nothing can ever ever be good in life there will always be a problem and the problem that i have with the salim gasoline is the police now i don't know if you want to hear that or not but hear me out mr mayor go on have you as you know i am the mainly the only person that works there alongside mr abdul who is my almost like my mentor he is the master ugwe to the chief and he's been teaching me the ways on the city and how everything work and he said to me salem this gas station will be ours fun fact when choosing the gas station i initially wanted to choose the little soul gas station but then abdul stepped foot and said you know what salem no this will not end good and it is gang ridden you is need it? to go to strawberry it is very gang ridden you know how many drugs there you know i was working driving there today and there was like Around. 500 bodies on the on the like street was what the fuck you see picture yeah very you want to see bad. picture what yeah 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 bloody and good doing market there. research on that area sir very bad it was bloody it wasn't me it was not me i just want to let you know that it was not me. i'm not a cop yeah it wasn't okay very good i just thought you might have like bad impression after me you know <clears throat> well i I do have a bad impression of you. I'm not gonna lie, I and mean, that's just because Why? I, because I watched you dive in front of my my truck three times. Remember that was marketing. I'm just letting you know how it is right now. Market has marketing. to be researched. That holy fuck! <laughs> exactly. Um, Where is this? Uh, this is in the left side. So you know, there's like the uh, the shrine, the temple next to the uh, the little soul gas station. And then there's a the grass on the left side of that. Oh, this is behind the pagoda. I see it. Yeah, the pagoda. Yeah. There's literally. Oh, a, oh my god. That is a ridiculous amount. What of, the? Of, yeah. Very bad to the community. Very, very bad. bad. Very bad. What happened? I have no clue. Are you sure no you wouldn't be more at home in Little Soul though? I mean, you're a felon. Abdul's a felon. You guys are super. No, felons, but actually. this is this is the no, thing. No, no. This is the thing, Mr. Mayor. We are only felons to the police. Okay, the only problem that we usually have is with the police. Most of my arrest is because fleeing, evading, fleeing, evading. I don't have a problem with anyone else. Only a couple majority people that are be bastards. What about But the uh, about what, about, what about the uh, the judges that gave you contempt of court three times? Ooh, yeah. So what happened with that was somebody came in there and just started shooting, and it was crazy. So you know, I had to run. You know, if someone shooting, I'm going to run. What the hell? Bloody crazy! For his safety, sir. You, you can't exactly. bring a gun. You can't bring a gun in there, though. There's a metal. But I wasn't the one that's was bringing gun. It was the police shooting because someone was fighting. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, someone was fighting in court, and they gave me contempt. I was very confused. How much did you get? How much was the fine? Um, fifty thousand. I'm pretty sure. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! What yeah, judge? Um, I Wait, have no. Glow he was wearing like a high vis jacket and a I don't remember oh, his name. Oh, really glory. Really glory. Really? Yes. So yeah, so after that, so yeah, obviously as you can tell, so the little soul was not a good place for us. So Abdul said, "You know what? I'm to go strawberry." And the thing is with strawberry, right? It is very convenient for a lot of people. when the ambulance is you know helping we gum pump their gas and usually we provide a free gas for the ambulance not the police the police on the other hand are problem makers not all of them but some of them are the problem makers um and this is the issue that we've had recently as you know mr mayor that they tried to trespass me from this stro- the strawberry gas station which almost broke my heart yeah 
एंड विदाउट द गैस स्टेशन आई वुड बी अ वेरी वेरी लूज कैनन यू माइट से दैट आई एम ऑलरेडी लूज कैनन बट आई वी वेरी लूज यू आर लूज लाइक ग्रैंड एड बॉल अनशेवन एंड यू नो Sim, I just want to let you know. I just texted you in case you do not have this in writing already. I just texted you my business proposal template if you would like to be able to use that um to actually create the paperwork for your business. No, no. It's better when you do everything from the brain because it's more natural. More natural. You get more of a um Yeah, we have a, we, we have a protocol that we need to follow. We yeah, we actually need to have stuff in writing, Salim, and I could explain to you all the rationalization for why that is. It would oh. probably not be that important oh. to you, but let me just oh. say that this protects you and your business in the future. So you need to have stuff in writing. Like so legislation. Yeah, so this no, proposal doesn't matter. No, it does. This is good. It does. This is great, but we're still going to need something in writing to speak to. Okay, so I can still tell you guys this now and then after I can give you guys the yeah. the, the the paper right. Exactly. Um, yeah. But if you would rather just leave now and work on that, that's cool too. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not educated. You can ask for a lawyer to help you work on it. Yeah, uh, Damien oh. is awake right now, I think. Yeah, Damien is awake right now. You could totally but, get his help on this. He would be great. But, but I'm reading this and it is saying employee type 1, employee type 2, employee type 3. Ta- ta- yeah, the, those are templates. It's a template, right? So it's like fill in the blank so you might have a manager, right, as one of your employee types or uh, right. a gas attendant versus a cashier. Right? right, or you can have them be the same role. That's for you to sort of figure out and decide. Um, and if you're unsure, I, I would speak to an actively practiced, um, an actively practicing bar license attorney for help on the details. Wow if you have any questions yeah. on how to best go about it, how to fill it out, how to complete the template. Okay. Sounds pretty self-explanatory. Um, it is pretty self-explanatory. Mr. Mayor and Madam Mayor, how how long will you be uh, staying awake? A while. A while, yeah. Okay, so I come back and then we go again. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna do a town hall pretty soon too. So um. Okay. So after everything that you've read so far, what would you give the rating out of ten? Out of your presentation, you're a good orator. Actually, um, you're very good at skirting around the issue. Very, po- very you. political, actually. Thank you. I'm very oral. Mm-hmm. Yes. He used to be an MVP in Pakistan. Yep. I had to do a lot of oral. Lots of it. Oral is good. Okay. Well, let's reconvene uh, when you guys are ready. Also, Mr. Okay. Mayor, you see combined? this carpet? It is like what I have back home. This carpet right here. The what? Okay, Mr. Nice Mayor? carpet. The carpet. The carpet. Oh you yeah. Carpet, yeah. You will have bought a chisi. Bought a chisi. This thing. This thing was ten thousand dollars, by the way. Ten thousand dollars? Yeah, it's very expensive. What also, Mr. Mayor, Mayor, do we we have to uh, pay, 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 pay? Huh? Okay, so you know a man by the name of Tommy T. Who? Tom, Tommy, Tommy T, Tommy T, Tommy T. No. And let's let's walk and talk. Come on. Okay, walking, talking. Well, there is a man called Tommy T, right? And I was speaking to him, and he was telling me, look. Tell him all you need to do is fake it till you make it. I never paid a single dollar for my gas station, and right. I was like, "What? What is this? What is going on?" Because you know I'm hearing one million dollars, this, that, the other. This is too much. So I'm thinking, Mr. Mayor, do you, are you in control of giving business right? I'm in control of giving people Hello. a license. Okay, very good. So let's say I was to own the actual gas station, but um, let's say giving like. A profit after every month. Me? Or week? Yeah, so then I can actually own it. I started paying, buddy, one million dollars. Buddy, insane. Oh, you want like a payment plan? Yeah. Yeah, I need but to. I, I need the I need, gas station. I need to look into the logistics of you buying that building. Why? What is logistics? Uh, because right now we're not really selling business. Uh, not businesses. Uh, buildings. Why? Like, What is what is what have I done? What, what am I don't, doing? We don't we don't have the functionality to do so yet. So I am standing there for no bloody reason. Uh, I mean you're standing there to, uh, I don't know. Okay, look, we don't need. Other thing is like you want like construction work. Yes, construction work. 
Yeah, I mean. That's what it's saying. Something like that. I get all of that now. All I need to know is that I can make money from the gas. Yeah. That's why I am considering this, because you the capability is there. The capability? You know, I've been, you know, back home in Pakistan, you know, um, I ran 75 gas stations with my uncle Mohatma Basharam. You need to meet Mohatma Basharam one day. You know, when, when we come Bro, back after. What the, did you just say? Mohatma Basharam. I don't know what that is. You don't know Mohatma Basharam? No. I you don't know Mohatma Basharam? I don't know. I, I can't even. I can't even spell what you just said. Mohatma hey Basharam? Guys. Happy A- Ramadan. Happy, happy Thank Ramadan. You. Thank you, uh, thank you. M U H A T. Uh, Sound take just just bloody do the M D T and find him. Oh, uh, okay. I guess speaker dude, and I can't even tell you what he's saying. Oh, you will have proposal. Well, yeah, that's a template, so you can fill in the blanks, essentially, right? Thank you so much, she, 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 Bowen? Oh, she, oh, bon, she, oh, bon. I praise both people. I'm learning, I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. Safe just called me Shiva, so that works. Yeah. Shiva. Shiva. What a good thing is that? Shiva. Very good. Very good. Shiva can mean me. Madam, Mayor Shiva, you have a bit of an accident. Are you Australian? No, I'm from Ireland. From Kai. Or like I no, from me? curry, curry, curry county oil names. Curry, curry, chicken curry. curry. Oh, it's, where, it's where the curry gold butter's from. Yeah, curry oh. gold butter. Wow, curry wow. gold Best butter. Very nice curry gold. Mayor, do you like eating curry? Love curry. It is nearly soon. Love curry. It is curry nearly soon. What is your favorite? What is your favorite? Uh, I like uh, yellow curry. I like green curry. Ooh. Yellow's Would you like too. to go for dinner, yeah. everyone? We we'll take you for dinner with the business proposal. We'll make you a very big giant bowl of biryani. Okay. Yes. Chicken biryani. Biryani. Uchha, lamb biryani. Kebabs, samosa. Very good. That sounds good. Yep. After we do this, yes. after this town hall, and you guys are ready to represent, we can uh, do it over a big okay, no, bowl. Yeah, we can do it. Every... We can do it over curry. Yes. Oh. Very good. All right. All right, Mr. Mayor, so Madam Mayor, I'm going to go reproduce with Sir Khan. I will see you later. Okay. Bye okay. bye. Did he say reproduce? Yeah. All right. Uh, when when Safe called me Shiva, I was like, normally I would correct people, but I kind of liked that, so I did not correct him. Well, that was a fever dream. That was definitely a fever dream. I I did check my, definitely checked what time it was. I'm like, it's a little early for that. It's about six hours too early. Hello. Afternoon. Greetings. The line starts over here, mate. For yeah. midnight. Ah, it's pretty late, yeah. Oh. Meh. Meh. Well, it's, it's not that. Crack of time. Meh. Let's go, best coast. Dawn. The crack of dawn. Ew. What? What's you about that? Uh, I need to, I need to... That's way before the crack of noon. What? Hey, Shiv. Hey, Bonjo, how's it going? Uh, you know, the wheels are turning. I'm the opposite of Itchy. You know what that means? Uh... D- explain. I'm the opposite of Itchy. You haven't yeah. heard that one before? Explain. Well, all right, pray tell. What does the opposite of Itchy entail? I, I, I literally they can't even imagine. I would imagine that you're scratchy Indian? or you don't have no, any no. itches. Yeah, I don't have any itches. The opposite of Itchy. Like, I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing well. How are you, Shiv? And Mr. Million. Good. About to Good. speak to the people. Yeah. Cool. That's well, me. Listen, we have we have your thing. What we up, haven't Jamie? looked at it yet. We will look at it tonight. That's a, no, no. It's I'm not rushing. the The wheels of law turn slowly. I, I'm a constituent of that. I know. But I'm just uh, jonesing for some change in this. Hey, city. Yeah. what was your name again? Because I'm t- I don't, I'm I tired of calling you Green Shirt Guy. I feel like that's kind oh, of uh, Mikey. 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 Okay, Mikey, 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 Mikey,
ask your PD liaison and make him actually do his job for the first time in 10 weeks. Uh, isn't he like a sleepy boy right now? Don't know. Uh, alternatively, you can watch the, uh, the it's video recorded now, so you can just walk, watch through if that's your prerogative. The, uh, the only thing I really care about is uh, did, did Corn get another fair shake? Did not happen. Also, Corn wasn't there. Where the fuck has he been? Uh, hopefully taking a well-needed rest. Yeah, he does work hard. Yep. I need a well-needed rest. Um, I guess some cliff notes. Uh, repeal. I proposed repealing adoption fraud, and we did. Um, drug scheduling is beginning. Not many drugs to schedule, though. Um... We discussed introducing a, an illegal dumping charge for the grime workers who are tossing their trailers on the side of the highway. Um, yeah, they yeah, they do that. Yeah, that's just fucked. And, illegal um, dumping. Who came up with that name? That's a good one. Well, I mean, that, that's like that's what it's called though. Usually, it's for like chemicals though, or just dumping in yeah. water. Usually. You think that's a funny name though, right? You know? Yeah, dumping like poop. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> Hey, you're a connoisseur of, uh, of of good humor. Yeah, I, we do a little chuckling. Oh, yeah, what else? Uh, that's about it. I mean, the minis are beginning faster and faster because uh, we we set up the foundation early for a lot of things. And uh, I've been kind of leaning into less regulation for people. Um, so a lot of... Like, that's the direction that we could be moving in, and that's what would cause the meetings to become longer, is if we sat down and we're like, okay, how can we regulate... Uh, more, right? But I'm kind of leaning toward less regulation right now. That's where you're leaning? Yeah. For people. The average person. Oh, and not for non-people like me. Uh, I mean, I'm, I really haven't regulated you guys at all, <laughs> if you think about it. All I did was give you guys oversight, and then I used my power to make sure that you actually had a chain of command flushed out instead of what was proposed to me by your three captains, which was six months from the date of our meeting. Uh, instead, I gave you guys a chief of police, which then gave you an assistant chief of police, which then gave you uh, two sergeants per shift, uh, you know, and more seniors and FTOs, and, you know, basically doing the work that wasn't done at all, because the, the captains that were in charge did not think that the cops on duty were competent enough to actually carry out those duties, uh, despite me knowing that that was not true because I took the time to actually speak with them and learn their thoughts on things. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the, the sole like, surviving captain? Uh, love him. I think he was the most uh, moderate um, and understanding of what, what, Los, San uh, what Los Santos is. Uh, as opposed to the fantasy that uh, Turner and Ruth were trying to make come into a reality. And what was that? Uh, a place where they could sit in their, their on their high horse and uh, take their sweet time there, piecing right? together a, a gunpla model instead of uh, getting out there and really adapting to the situation. Hold on, hold on, Wordsmith. What the fuck is a gunpla? Gunpla model, like a Gundam. I, I don't know what that is. Can you, can you, uh... It's like a model that you put together with glue and stuff. Very careful. Very precise. Oh, like, they were just sitting in there just fucking putting together... They were, they were those... taking, they were, they were going too slow. Uh, and then when they were told that they were going too slow, they decided to, uh, quit and cry about it. Or in Ruth's case, to get on Twitter and to call me an evil man. Or to publish yeah, a, uh, a document stamped with the LSP logo that says the truth. Real. And then, even more whining, <laughs> uh, which, 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 all, which all but confirms my thoughts on them, or at least her, and that's that she was a subversive wench that is a terrible, 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 terrible police officer. But uh, you know, we can talk about that another time. Like I got, I got a town hall I'm gonna do. I, I've got like 15 more minutes in my yap, though. Well, then call me after I'm done. Uh, I'll, I'll, it won't be more than an hour. Also, stop calling yourself. Uh, stop calling it a yap. You don't yap. You talk. And it's okay to like talking. I like talking. I like talking to you. 
Don't let people, don't let people be like, oh my god, here comes the yap guy. You're not the yap guy. You're Duncan Fenwell. Don't forget yeah, that. Just get, just get the yeah, they, they do give me shit for talking. Oh, fuck them. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not. No, I have a girlfriend, but I'm asexual. Man, you know what I'm saying? Word. Oh, shit. That ass. No penis and vagina for you? Oh, yeah, all that for me, dog. That ass. Wait, that's not what asexual is. No, I meant like. Asexual man. Singular. Oh. Yeah. Like the pipe, you know what I'm saying, dog? <laughs> yeah, word. I feel that. I break outside your heart. Did you say word to both sexual and asexual? Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just a, just, I'm a generally just a supporter. Yeah, I'm honestly, just... valid. No, I get that. <laughs> yeah, whatever you guys want to do. I don't fucking <laughs> don't don't you? care. Speak up, Banjo. I said, let a thousand blossoms bloom is what you're trying to say, you know? That sounds like some ancient Chinese proverb shit. Uh, it's close, Australian proverb, but yeah. Uh, love it. Actually love that. Yep. <laughs> let a thousand blossoms bloom. I don't discriminate. Oh, the hip act. Oh my god, the hip action. Wow. Hey, you, do you guys... You're kind of crazy. Do you guys know Salim Windar? No. Oh, wait, Salim! Oh, yeah, 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 he pumped yeah, the gas. Yeah. And he robbed you. Bastard. Uh, <laughs> no, he came to me and he said, uh, he inquired about meetings like 10 times. And I said, well, I specifically what type of meetings? And he said, business. And I said, oh, that's the mayor's purview. Did he say, can we have the meeting in the senior bun's office and then try to stab you? No. Uh, we yeah. <laughs> Is that what happened to you? <laughs> yeah, that, no, but that's what happened to basically everybody else he's talked to. He's getting sued that's, it's for funny. Like, it's kind of funny, somebody up, like, right? Uh, he, he's getting, he's getting, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Is that like the first ego act? Uh, yes. I believe Salim was the first ego act. Oh, that's, that's kind of badass. Hi, Moose Knuckle. Uh, yeah. so I, I see some faces in the crowd I do not recognize. Um, is, is that Sammy Mustard on the left there? Yep, yep, that's me. We got Banjo and Mikey and, uh, Cow and... Looking good. Hello. Thank you. Is that Yo. is that Alex River right there with the? Thank you. With the what? Huh? Uh, the huh? blue and uh, the blue shirt and the uh, red necklace and the, the black mask. Thank you, baby. No, I'm I'm, I'm not. No. Who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm uh, Reen, Reen Bright, Reen Bright, sir. Well met. I'm Max, and uh, the fellow in the red. Alexander Smith. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you know, it's funny. You sound like another Alexander I know. G six employees. Cool. Uh, and then the uh, the fellow in his underwear in the middle there. Oh, I'm Trey. Hi, Dad. Trey okay. Smoke. Trey Smoke. Oh, I know. Yep. I know you. Uh, and we have Wind, Wind Song, our spiritual advisor in meditation. Hey, <laughs> Trey. Remember when you agreed you were gonna put on like shoes and a shirt uh, to come to this? I, I said shoes. Uh, I couldn't afford them. <laughs> They're not even a dollar right now. And is that is that Uriel <laughs> behind Trey? Insensitive. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, who, who's the lady next to Winsong? Hi, I'm Emmy. Emmy, and then we have Jason. Jason. Jamie. Jamie. Jamie, Jamie. Jamie McQueen. Sorry. I called you Jamie earlier when you were here. Sorry. Sure, I'll give you that one. Um, and we have Brian Knight. And Aziz, nice. Uh. Nice fucking eye patch. Where'd you get that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I lost my eye a few years ago. Shit. Wait, the eye yeah. patches are in? And I, who's the lady in the uh, the jeans and the uh, the beret? Uh, my name's Amari. Amari, hello. Uh, and we have, uh, I do not recognize the fellow on the far right. Hi, my name is Rod. I've got Nicki Minaj ass. Cool. Real. Wait, I do I've seen it. He I, does. I do recall the Nicki Minaj ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, can, cool, I, cool. can everyone make sure they're, uh, they're shiny? <laughs> Ah. Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, ah. Let's go, ah. let's get started. Uh, does anyone have any questions, concerns, ideas, or business proposals they'd like to uh, forward to the office? What up, Smoke? All right. So so this actually just happened like probably ten minutes ago. Uh, Mr. Uh, Justice Crane over there. Uh, you know, I understand you can trespass anyone from a you know state-owned building. You know, I feel like there should be a little bit of amendment to that, right? Like just because you don't like how someone is dressed. You know what I mean? I feel like that that shouldn't be enough reason, right? I'm not hurting anyone. I agree. Uh, I'm not hurting there, anyone. There I'm not attacking a, anyone. There should be no way to 
decide how people should dress uh at the very least if they are dressed i agree with you very much so, <laughs> so i feel like if i'm not causing any inconvenience not but hurting not or attacking dressed. anyone um <laughs> not the point uh I, I don't feel like that should be enough reason you know to trespass people is there any way to get something written um to where we have actual standards uh, of what is trespassable or not especially in a state-owned building um, so the mayor's office, uh, very, uh, trepidatiously agreed to, um, the proposed drip deck, drip back. Uh, and, and that was on the, uh, the condition that, and if anyone doesn't know, drip act essentially enforces a dress code for doing certain jobs around the city. Um, that's as far as I'm personally willing to go about telling people what they should be wearing. Uh, cause you know, they operate heavy vehicles or they're, they're doing important jobs and they shouldn't be interrupted while doing them so on and so forth uh me personally you know i i don't uh you know i differ from alan here uh, i don't care what you're wearing and that's primarily because i personally wear whatever i want to uh ultimately i mean city hall city hall is is the purview of the chief justice most times so if he's if he's asking you to put a shirt on and pants and shoes uh, i think that's uh reasonable <laughs> I'm gonna my, be honest. My logic, my <laughs> logic is as follows, and I'll just make this very clear publicly. Uh, if I request the basic respect that you come into my courtroom uh, clothed, then uh, I would not subject my clerks uh, to the same level of disrespect when you walk into the building and they are, you know, here to serve you and help you with your civil needs. Uh, so it is a, a a real low bar, I believe, to ask people to put clothes on to come into city hall. Trey, are you in debt? No. How can you not afford shoes? Uh, I have to pay for food. You want some, and you other want, things. You want some food, bro? <laughs> Bro's eating at the food court. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Senior Buns doubled their prices, by the way. Really? Wait, yeah. Senior Buns is open? There's people working there? Wow. Unfortunately. Yeah, they doubled their prices and... Same. Damn. Damn. It's empty. Oh, I personally propose we blow it up. Wait, what's... Uh, okay. Does anyone have a Senior Buns pay slip? Does anyone know how much they're paying right now? Fifty dollars. It went down to forty-five. I was about to have to come in here, buddy. What happened? Interesting. Sorry, I'm having a little snack. Um, also, speak up, guy, and uh, the one that just said that. Uh, whatever you're. Oh, a fucking yeah. Sorry. Name. Uh, Raj. Hi. Raj. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, it was forty-five uh yesterday uh so it's like going up Bottom and down mask. Ev like every day really. so uh the mayor's office actually has the ability to determine the uh the pay slip uh stuff but i actually haven't touched that in a while so uh that is not me if in case anyone was wondering <clears throat> well hold on you you may you may notice fluctuations if you're turning in the pay slips because then tax will be applied to that process. No, no, so it, it's on the pay slip itself. Yeah. yeah, it's on the receipt itself where it's cha where it shows like um, how much it is. Like I've got a 45, a 47, a 50, a 52, and there's been 56s. Uh, yeah, the yeah, 56 one was for like a day. That was rare. That's a couple hours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Mayor, how does that track with your uh, science? Um, I think they're right. <laughs> okay. Can you pop 56 up again? I need to get one of those. I'm, I'm collecting them. Uh, I think everyone would have put them in because that was like at the start when all like pay slips were going up like for everyone and then everything went down. Okay. Um. So, no, I can't help you, Trey Smoke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh, damn. Does anyone have anything else? Me, me. I have something. Yeah. Wind song. Uh... I saw that the Adoption Fraud Act was repealed in the state announcements. Wow. And uh, I was wondering, yep. um, like it said that you could get reimbursed for if you were, uh, if you adopted somebody, can you get reimbursed if you were charged? So I will answer that, uh, Mr. Mayor, if you don't mind. Please. Uh, so there is something in the law uh, that we use in this state called ex post facto. And what that means is if uh, you, let's say, do an action and I decide, hey, that action's bad. So me and the city council get together and we uh, pass a law to make that action illegal. 
the police don't get to then go and go, hey, we, we caught that guy doing that thing that's now illegal like two weeks ago. We have 30 days to press charges, so now we can press charges because now it's illegal. Uh, that doesn't work because of ex post, facto, ex post facto. It protects you from the state retroactively applying laws to the past. However, unfortunately for you, ma'am, in this case, it also protects uh, the other way. So just as it would be unfair to reverse time and charge someone for something that, uh, you know, wasn't illegal, but now is, it goes the same way the other way. You were yeah, properly, you, you know, adjudicated my horse, under so. that. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately, ma'am, I... I'll get my money back the goose, through, the, the gander. through my case. I'm, I'm going to take it to trial. I'll get my okay. money back one way or another, but I was hoping Sounds I good. could get it faster. Yeah, unfortunately, no. We gotta we gotta stay straight on the uh, fairness on either side. Uh, anyone else? Uh, I got something. Uh, the the lady in the back there. Give me the pay slip. Uh, I have a just a general question about why businesses such as Burger Shot, Up and Adam, and other places like that, even like uh, Bee Machine, is there plans to make them uh, utilized? or utilize them within the future because it's uh it's been talked about a lot but i haven't really heard anything about it like directly from a source that i would consider reputable so uh possibly eventually i'm not really sure where the uh the state is directing their construction efforts right now <laughs> yeah essentially the state only has so many crews and uh with the dilapidation that occurred between the collapse and the uh, rebuilding here uh, most of those buildings are sealed as they're completely unsafe for human, you know, hospitalization. So uh, in the future, when the crews are delegated to those spots, uh, they may reopen. But like Max said, we're we're not really uh, privy to the scheduling. So unfortunately. OK, thank you. Of course. Uh, next. Red, red, uh, red suit. Uh, could you please educate me on the civilian oversight board, sir? Uh, Alan can do that. He knows it better than I do. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, uh, I, sure. I, I give you the TLDR. Yeah, uh, Max knows the basic. Um, essentially, it's a way for uh, citizens to have direct liaisons to complain about police conduct. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Because yeah. I That's thought it was a little simple. bit more over encompassing. No, uh, the very the very basic idea is that IA did not work in the past. Cops were not really. Um, uh, uh, I, I won't say. It's not that they weren't capable of, of, of prosecuting each other or investigating each other. It's that oftentimes the leadership structure did not fully embrace IA's recommendations. Uh, and wow. that was all done behind closed doors. So the civilian oversight board exists to number one, redistribute uh, the people who are evaluating police corruption. And number two, uh, allow for that process and those recommendations and the outcomes to be public. So if the police do choose to go against the outcome of